What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast tonight. Actually, Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, yes, sir. Guys, this is going to be a good show. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition, man. It's a full house in here, and I know you guys probably complain. Oh, you guys started early this time. What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> but uh, we're here, guys. Obviously, I'm joined with Donovan Sharp, Rolo Tomasi, Aaron Cleary. Also, lovely ladies, Adriana, Amanda, and G, because she won't tell her real government name because she works for the drug cartel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Um, Man, any announcements that we got to make, man? Uh. Guys, get ready for an awesome show, man. Honestly. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. Me and Fresh are going to just moderate, guys. We are not going to be talking that much. And uh, yeah, up? Womanese what? Volume Four drops uh, Friday. Womanese Volume Four: What she says versus what she means, guys. If get you, it. Listen, fifteen percent discount if you are a patron, not to be combined with any other offers. Patreon.com/slash Donovan Sharp, guys. You get mm. that. So okay, cool. Uh, Fresh, I will kick it off to you, my friend. All right, folks, we got a full panel today. We got Donovan Sharp. We got Aaron Leprechaun Clary. <laughs> and we got Rolo, the Godfather Tomasi. What's good, fellas? Not too bad. The first thing I want, I want, I want for somebody to do, I, I need you to stand up. You guys got to see oh, this. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. <laughs> do it. Go on, do it. Look, benefit, this is for, Jesus. look at this, look at this. I don't want to rip How tall are you? 5'11". Awesome. Wow. wow. I thought she was taller. I thought awesome. she was 6'1". Yeah, I thought okay. she was like, yeah, I thought Question, like 6'1". Uh, six six She's got too, to see the, okay. The okay. Oh yes, of course. Oh, okay. Yes. So, and how tall are how tall are you? I'm five three. Okay. All right. Crazy. Awesome. How tall yeah. are you laying down? <laughs> Still five three. I'm there sure. it is. <laughs> There's the right answer. Everyone's the same height. That's when the right answer. Down. No, there they're the same height when they lie down. Uh, go ahead. All right. So, first question is right, ladies. Wait. Uh, someone someone cool. has the uh, yeah. YouTube open. Okay, okay, got it. All right. Cool. All right. So, question is right. For example. You obviously take care of yourselves. You're obviously very um, into, you know, beauty and fashion. So what would you rate yourself out of 10? Start with G. <laughs> She's like, not me. She didn't <laughs> want to go first. She didn't want to go first. Um, eh. A seven? And why? Are you asking or telling? No, no, a seven? Uh, do, uh, ooh, <laughs> no what does Janina think Janina is on a scale of one to 10? I think I'm a seven, eight sometimes. Depending upon. I don't know. You said you're friends with Kevin, so I just feel like, <laughs> like I'm gonna get back. She got very <laughs> humbled very quickly. Hey, hey, listen, man. I mean, self-esteem is self-esteem. Let me perhaps a better statistical way because these Hanyakers are like, oh yeah. Hi, 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 hi. Mm. So, out of the female population, there what percentile go. rank of female beauty would you rank yourself? And be honest. Don't, don't be don't. humble. Don't be a braggadocio either. What is like what, what is percent? Percentile? You know, remember when we got those standardized tests? Like yeah, they the don't. Eighty-nine percent, right? That there you go. Where right. do you rank? And and I guess we should also make the further qualification: removing grandma and little children. You know, women between sixteen to forty-five. Scale of one to ten. Eight. Okay. Okay. Cool. See, that wasn't so hard. Go ahead. I Amanda. concur. <laughs> Eight point five. Wait. Okay. But why? I think boobs. It, yeah, I was gonna say boobs, butt, brains, cute face. No one cares about your brains. Attitude. We don't care no about the brains. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're boobs not gonna get bored though. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna rate myself a nine. Okay. Okay. Boom, baby. Because I got everything. I got. Height, I got looks, handles, brain, range, handles. Yeah, I mean, you want to play some freaking ball? I got you. You want to you know, watch some movies, some Netflix? I got you on this that. Is great. You know, I can cook Netflix please. and chill. What do you cook? Wait, wait, what wait. You, cook? you can click mice. Kind of ball out. What do you cook? You can click mice. I, I want to know what you cook. Be specific. Um, what's your best dish? My best peanut butter dish. and jelly. You know, I'm really good at peanut butter and jelly. I make a, a mean ass grilled cheese sandwich though. Oh. Word wifey material. Wifey. Straight up. Wifey. She's tall I don't and burn she the makes toast. a grilled cheese. I don't burn the toast. 
That's it. Stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, I'm replacing you. Devin, I'm, I'm replacing you. Okay. Next question, right? So, for example, um, in this case, a lot of guys are wondering as well, like, what would you say out of these three categories, looks, money, or status? And I know you asked this already, Amanda, so you could kind of like, you know, get, get around it. But looks, money, or status, what comes first in a guy for you? Money. Just admit it. Just admit it. It's yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. See, yeah. was that hard? No. Mm-hmm. No. See, there you okay. go. And then go ahead, Amanda. Follow suit. Money. I've answered before, but I said status, looks, and money. So status one, looks two, money three. Yeah. I'm gonna have height. To... Height. 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 Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say six, that? Six six uh, feet and up is future basketball yeah, players yeah, yeah. here. Height. Yeah. Is, now here's the I'm thing. Trying to make currency. some athletes. I'm trying to make some. Well, here's the thing. A lot of guys, a lot of guys are like, oh, she only wants guys that are over six feet. We under. Well, well, but you're five, uh, 10, 11, 5, 11. So it stands to reason that you're going to need because you just don't. Will you date a short guy? See, I don't discriminate. Will you answer the question? Yes or no? Absolutely. Will you date a short guy? Absolutely. You don't almost have to. I'd imagine. Will Will you date a short guy? I'd do it. I would do it. So all you short guys out there. You know, shoot your shot because five two. Five two. You're up. Oh, the there it was. There it is. Five Speaking two. to the mic. Five yeah, you two is too much. <laughs> too much. That's real short. Too much. Well, there's not much of a difference between like five two. If and something three. else can even it out, then maybe I don't know. He has a twelve inch dick. No. Oh, oh, there it was. No, no, okay, yeah, but yeah. but it's probably what was it? it? Was status, looks, and what else? Money, Money looks, or status? Yeah, in, the, in that order. So it's gonna be. Um, Oof. Height is included in looks. So, okay, so exactly. So looks, status, money. How old are you? 29. Amanda? 31. Oh, and that uh-huh. leads us to yes. Janina. Yeah. Janina, how old are you? I'm 37. And tell us the story about how you got caught lying about your age. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is good. This is going to be good. It's, it is we good. haven't heard this. We, we saved this for the air. Uh, so it was Christmas Day. It was actual Christmas, but at night at like 12 o'clock midnight. And there was an after hours party in Alapata. And I just got out of like a really long relationship, a five year relationship. So I went out. Excuse number one. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so um Everybody was leaving to go to this party in Brickle. And one of the girls that I was with, like, literally, we had just got there, ordered a drink. And this guy came up to me and was like, hey, do you want a drink? And he was with, like, the crowd that I was with. I was like, sure. We literally got our drinks. They're like, oh, we're going to this party in Brickle, this and that, da, da, da. So we get in this car. We come to the part. We are on our way to this party in Brickle. And somebody ran a red light and crashed into us. Oh, shit. And it was, like, a (laughs) horrible accident. And I was in the middle seat. Were you okay? Everybody was okay except the driver and the passenger. They they went to the hospital. Oh, um, shit. And the girl that hit us, I thought she died. She hit us so hard <clears throat> that she knocked herself out. So there is this guy, the guy that had bought me the drink. He's mm-hmm. sitting on my right-hand side. And that's where the impact happened. Your right-hand side? I'm sorry, left-hand <laughs> left okay. side. All right. And that's where they had T-boned us, right? So... He wouldn't let me like we didn't go to the hospital because we weren't messed up, but my tooth had broken. I literally had <laughs> met this guy for five seconds, like in the club for five minutes before we had to leave. And it just so happened that his cousin that was there was also a dentist. I had told this guy, <laughs> <laughs> I had told this guy I was 32. I was waiting. Uh, oh, and now oh and because now oh. So I had told him I was 32. And that's that. Then the accident happened. I told him this before the accident happened. The accident happens. Dude ends up like keeping in contact with me. He lives in L.A. and he was just down here this weekend. Mm. And we were all out at the SLS. And his cousin, the dentist that fixed my tooth, was like super drunk. And like we were just sitting there and he comes up and he was like, cuz... She's the one. Oh, boy. Even though Here she lied go. about her age. Oh, oh, he put you on blast. And he was like, gotcha, you lied about- <laughs> He's like, you lied about your age. You're not 32. Okay. And I was like, no. He's like, how old are you, 33? And I was like, no, 37. He was like, 37? 
30. Damn, seven. we gotta have you know kids like Clark? now. And I was like, <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? Wait, are you pregnant? No. Are you sure? <laughs> 100% positive. Oh, oh, now that I believe. <laughs> okay, we got some super chats. Oh, wow, uh, already. Okay, uh, we got Don DeMarco with the uh, 499 super chat. United we stand, divided we fall. The yes. man of spirits collaborating, and I love it. Rolo, please hit the Don DeMarco. Oh, oh man, he's on the other side of the yeah, thing, yeah, but yeah. I think we can make it happen. It's yeah. that second button. Thank you for that super chat. Okay, we got Sir Mr. Man, I got to get my glasses. I'm blind right now. Okay, read it fresh because I can't see. What is going on, guys? Good to see the Godfathers in the building. We're still silver sable. This is going to be a late over 9,000. <laughs> silver sable. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Oh, you're silver sable. That's, that's, oh, that's so this is not your first rodeo. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. only my second. Oh, all right. Only your second. Okay. Shout Impressive. out to Chris. Um, yep, shout out to Chris. Okay. Um, all right. Question for Rolo. Example of appealing to emotion with women. We will get to that. Yep. Aiden, uh, thank you very oh, much. God. He thinks Vladimir, it's that kind of show. Oh, my God. Buzzer beaters 101. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daniel L. <laughs> Can she cook, cook eggs, though? <laughs> <laughs> solo. Uh, oh ben God. Jones. Uh, keep calling them out, Donovan. Let's get some booze and Clary so he goes on a rant. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh, I, guys, I, I, I got to share the mic because I'm then, very... Uh, Okay, and then we got uh, Dara, wow. Dara Sumuke with the $100 big super chat, man. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. That money, that money will go towards alcohol to get girls to come to the studio and make bad <laughs> confessions in the future. Yes. So uh, yes, thank you very much. It. Nonstop Trade, $362. Even Cappy has a shot being 5'3". LOL, JK. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Okay. He, uh, he's just under the cut. I, I think we're caught up. Um, all right, cool. So uh, go ahead, transitioning oh. over. All right. So, so the question was the first time they did porn. Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get there later on. Oh, okay. But, All right. Right. So the next question is, for example, um, in this case, right, what would you say you bring to the table for guys that you want to date? Seriously. Am I always going to be the first one? Yes. Well, you're right. <laughs> okay. You know what? Amanda, you can start yeah. since you're the extrovert here. Yeah. I was going to say I'll start and I've already answered once before. So Hold on. Let, let's add, a, let's add a, a caveat to that, right? What do you bring to the table besides PTA? Oh, yeah. Well, you don't <laughs> oh. like my brain, but there's that. I can cook as well. I can cook a lot of shit. Like what? I, I'm an ex fat kid. I am great at cooking and baking. Just throwing that out there. Okay. okay. Play with my snacks. <laughs> okay. I, right. I make, uh, I mean, I make my own living. Like I'm half of a power couple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Wait, next? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Adriana. Um, Your next G. And don't worry, guys. You'll get a chance to ask us questions as well. Oh, yeah. Well, us. We're just moderating, but you guys will have a chance. <laughs> like, no, don't ask not us. Questions. But you guys will have a chance to ask questions too. No, no, listen, no, you guys you know will have a chance. We'll throw it back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah throw it back and forth. I have some questions in mind. Cool. Yeah, sure. Um, no, I agree with her. I mean, like, I'm, like I said, I'm a good cook. Um, mean grilled cheese, y'all, brioche. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tell me what kind of cheese you want on that grilled cheese. I got you. I love it. And I got a. I have a trick to that and I'll tell you guys after, but anyways, um, I mean, smarts, like what, who, what guy doesn't want a smart girl? You know, like we don't care about, them, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but how, and how, how do you know? And how do you know? Hold on. Is that? How, how awful is that? Why is that awful? But y'all are just going to live your lives with the dumb. Yeah, they have oh, no well, well, okay. So now see, now we're going bipolar. So if she's not a PhD, she's a dumbass. I'm is that what that is? Well, really you said she was dumb. I mean, I mean, just because a woman's not she's, smart. She doesn't have a PhD. Listen, I'm not smart. No, listen, so I hear you. Now that I agree with. There are a lot yeah, of people with PhDs are as dumb as a box of rocks, but we don't give a shit about a woman's intelligence level. Is it a nice okay, bonus? Hold on. You, let me finish. Okay. Is it a nice bonus? Absolutely. My girlfriend happens to be very smart, but guess what? If she weren't fuckable, I wouldn't be with her. Okay. But then, all right. So then that's your preference. You want to have somebody that you know is fuckable and has smarts as well, but I'm just saying that. How many like, girls out there like that? Plenty. Three right here. Plenty. Says the you're an eight and a half. Okay. All right. I think. No offense, guys. I think I'm hotter than the rest of the men in this room. Oh. 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 Wow. Hey, hey. No, wow. Listen, none taken. Listen, of course, of course, she's. I mean, she's a she's a female. Of course, she's. What, what, <laughs> if I were a female, what would I be like a like a nine nine and a half? You would be a truck wreck. <laughs> you'd be. You'd be. You're a man. Her yeah, we don't. Um, uh, it's not that we don't care about brains. Brains is a nice bonus. But what I have found in my experiences is that girls who call themselves smart spend a lot of time trying to prove that they're smart. And it's a fucking headache. Mm -hmm. I just go to work and make money. Exactly. 
You just very smart. Do, you yeah. do yeah. what you got to do. You, you don't have to prove that you're smart. You just come off smart. You know, you are smart, but there are women who are just. I'm a dumbass. Well, then you, you got to talk into the mic. That's gonna, you need a woman. That's <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank love you. hour. This is what it sounds like. I like I how she caresses. She's like, you need a woman. Okay. Now you guys ask us. Yeah, go ahead. Ask a question. Wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. What do, you, what do you bring to the table besides dental work and lying about your age? Um, okay, so I have an MBA in finance. I cook different culture foods. I'm a fucking hustler. I get to the bag. And I'm street smart and book smart. MBA, I like the MBA. That's, what, what, is, what does get good. to the bag mean? Money. Get money. Oh, money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the bag just, equals Sorry, money. with my new balance shoes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Welcome to 2021, Now, Aaron. see, a guy like... See, now, here's the thing. A guy, a guy like me... Okay, all right. So she has an MBA. As long as she's not an insufferable bitch, then I'll put her to work for me. Definitely not. That's how that works. Okay, uh, go ahead, ladies. Put, uh, wait, 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 what's put up? me to work for you. Yes, my 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 girlfriend works for me. She is on my payroll. I pay her six I, figures. I, I, I feel like you said. I think that's a great power to you. Say what? I feel like all girlfriends work for you. I once had to file for a passport for a man that I dated because he <laughs> well, put, in his paperwork and a year later didn't know why he didn't get a passport. Like <laughs> y'all can't figure shit out. You know what I'm saying? There's there's lots of dumb like you're my mommy questions coming out. Let's yeah. do it. Having Send a boy, away. Having a Who boyfriend is a full time job, a hundred percent. Okay. Yo, all right. Real here we quick, go. Real quick, Rolo. What's your take on this? Because you've been quiet the whole time. No, I'm just, I'm analyzing. analyzing. Yeah. I'm, I, yes, I, I'm just analyzing. This guy's the godfather. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it, like whenever, whenever you have girls that come in here, the first thing I'm doing is reading, right? So I'm just like listening to the conversation. I, I, the, right now, we're we're where I expected us to be. So yeah. okay. that's, that's <laughs> where right, uh, we're, we're going somewhere else, but we're where I expect to be. Right All right. On. So take we're going to read the super chats real quick, and then we'll let the ladies ask a Do question. Yes. Okay. Uh, we got uh, WR. Why DDA five dollars woman Rida. is on display? I pray, <laughs> Rida, yep. Uh, now slap Dre three sixty. Cappy asked the girls, "Do they think big is beautiful?" Uh, that will be I'll later get on. To that. Uh, Santiago G, do they feel they have hit the wall? Um, okay, that will be later. Okay, and then uh, what else? Um, uh, make sure we don't. Oh, we got the, another big super chat. Yes, from uh, Dara Sum Sumkate. Uh, Donna Marco for you, my friend. <laughs> Ladies of the men at the table, whose cologne smells the best to you tonight? No stinky man. Hashtag. Thank you very much. Uh, Ray Dade, uh, 199 euro. Okay. I appreciate that. The English language is overrated anyway. Okay. Uh, Juan, the Aztec patriarch. Aaron should give them the Clary rant. Uh, don't worry. That will come eventually. No, we'll give them the Clary test. Uh, That'd be a very Nonstop. Ah, here's a good question. 360. Do the girls believe in toxic masculinity? We will hold that one for the next. Uh, for the I next. do. Okay. I uh, ben Jones, I have an MBA easier than my liberal arts degree. Thank you, Ben Jones, for that. <laughs> uh, Kyle, one, you, it's $2. You bring ego into every ad attribute you have, sadly. Okay. That was at you, Silver Sable. I think I think that was towards the man. Yeah. Uh, and that then what else? You. Anything else? Uh, we're caught up? Frank. Oh, Frank. Okay. Uh, Frank Sonar, Canadian $5. Uh, men are simple creatures. I personally ask for two things. Is she hot and is she available? Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we got 1,082 live viewers, by the way, guys. <laughs> awesome, guys. Like the video on your way in because I don't want to stop the show. It's going to get lit. As I said before, me and Fresh are just moderating. Yep. So, uh, okay, ladies, go ahead and ask a question to not me and Fresh. Well, Your turn. First of all, we have to ask her what she brings to the table. Oh, yeah. She already she asked, answered oh, no, she that. Get into the bag. Oh, that's right. The NBA. Yeah, and everything. That's right. No, I, mean, I, I was going to see if she changed. Oh, I get the, the money. The least thing I, use. I like the hustle, though. I like the hustler. Yeah. yeah, the hustler, the hustle part. If, if a girl can help me get money, then I'm all in. I'm all in. We yeah. can get our own money. We can probably help you get money. So. There we okay. go. So questions for the panelists. Uh, 13 inches. Like and and one team oh question. Oh my God, <laughs> that, was team. Not, that was not it. One, one of you asked a question and then we'll rotate between you three. I have a good question. There you go. Sure. Why do men pay for OnlyFans when there's free porn online? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. So that as well. I don't pay for OnlyFans. Please, I yeah, want to know. Please. All right. So I got this one. I got this one. I'll try to be brief. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy's written four books, man. So, this guy's awesome. So here's here's the reason why. Um, it's not about the sex. Okay. If they, if guys want to get off, there's plenty of free porn for streaming live, 4K, anytime you want it. I just go on the on your cell phone, right? The reason why OnlyFans is such a draw, like simping, and it's like endemic right now, is because there is a demographic of guys, the 80 percenters. Like, have you heard of the Pareto principle? 20, the 80, 20, 20 rule. Yeah, so 80% of guys are 
kind of in the, let's just say the low. Not I don't want to get an action. They're not getting action, right? They're low sexual market value. If I say SMV, that's what I mean, sexual market value. So they're low SMV guys. And these guys are the guys who are not getting laid. And statistically, if you go and you look at like something like the, the GSS study, the general survey study of like 2018 or 2019, uh, over the last 10 years, the demographic between 18 and about 29 for, for men, for, for guys, young men, um, are simply sexless. They're not getting laid whatsoever. And it's not about getting off and it's not about the porn. It's about the connection. And you also notice this, if you go and you look at the top earners on, on, you, or on uh, OnlyFans right now, they're not the girls who are like big tits and blonde hair and blue eyes. And they, they don't look like, you know, what? centerfolds. No, they look like they are attainable. The number one, um, oh, the number one sense. earner on, uh, as far as I know right now, anyways, number one earner, she's, she's clearing something like $150,000 a month. She doesn't look any, she doesn't look like, you know, big, you know, she doesn't look like this right. stereotypical like special, like she looks shell. average. Give me she an looks, OnlyFans. I need. I'm she need looks OnlyFans. as if the as if she's attainable, and so these guys are looking for a connection. They're not looking to get off because they can get off. That's not a problem. <laughs> There's no such thing as an incel, by the way. What you know, involuntary celibate guys today. If you've got fifty dollars in your pocket, you, you can, can get go, laid. You can go get laid, right? Actually, the only incels are people with mental or physical handicaps. And wait a minute, wasn't there Stephen Hawking? And he's got more ass he, than I have. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, so when it comes to um, when it comes to connection, the, what the internet does is it provides them this virtual connection. So there's kind of like the fourth wall, like when you're uh, the audience, like you're playing to the audience instead of like playing to the characters on the stage. What happens is there's that third wall that's kind of like a buffer between the 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 incels or the guys who aren't getting laid and the girl who allows them to come into their world. And so it's not about like the most successful strippers aren't the ones that go off and show their cooter and jump on the, on the pole or anything. <laughs> it's the ones who go, hey, honey, how was your day? Oh, hey, great to see you. Oh, like, they show this, personal this familiarity that in comes sales. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not the so bag. Much, but see, what they're doing the is they're giving these guys special. something they will never get in the outside world. That, that will fun. never yeah, happen to them. So they, they feel the like it will never. They want connection. They want Kina. Exactly. They want touch, right? They want like the the eye to eye contact. They want to feel as if that girl on the other side of the screen. They want them. To, in fact, I've heard guys say exactly this. I want her to know that I would do anything for her. What? And it's this. It's it's like digital, like uh, uh, virtual. Let's just say uh, blue pill virtual. We call it yeah. simping now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But, All right, that makes but sense. But it's not just so much simping. It is. It's this. Synthetic. That's their virtual wife. Oh my right? god. Right. And you know what? When that when that virtual when that relationship, you know, crumbles on on all the real breakup they, feelings. Well, I I know guys who have spent like small fortunes on guys are on uh, on OnlyFans like to the tune of like four thousand oh, dollars a month. Please don't tell me that. A month. And, a month. Oh, yeah. and what happens is then That's those a girls fucking mortgage. Those girls in some way kind of jilt them or like they, they're not as like accessible as they were. Yeah. They go through this cycle of being depressed. They go through this cycle of like some of them get suicidal. And what happens wow. is they delete, they basically ghost their virtual that. wife and they find another one. They've got another girl that's right there. Then they they repeat the cycle over and over again. That's why it's so addictive. It's, it's and here I thought it was about like, titties. It's literally like a, a gambling addiction. Yeah, that's that really incredible. interesting from a female perspective. We would never assume that. We're just like these dumb that's simple You're telling me you can just what? open OnlyFans and I can just interact with you. And, and that's you'll why you have those to are the girls that make the most money. And that's yeah. why you have to be careful about it because those guys, the more accessible and attainable and like uh, engaging you are, that's yeah, the hard said, work isn't the news. Well, because like, yeah, the hard work. Yeah, you yeah. have to be sexual, yes. Yeah. But like, you, it's the uh, it's the attainability or the fantasy of being like this. She she could be my wife. She she really does have a connection. Wow, with I did me. not realize that. That's what it comes down. And then they start not, stalking you. And yeah, some very down. important information. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I might, look, look, look. The I gears think you are just turning. Made a bunch of girls. She, like, the, rich the, in the gears future, are turning. Yeah. The gears are turning. Let me introduce another aspect from an empirical. I'm listening because I, I live in Vegas during winter and uh, I have several friends and uh, some of which I'm like, Oh, where'd you meet? And like on the internet, I'm like, Oh, what do you do? I'm in sales. And then, and then also I get a kick under the table. I'm like, Oh, oh it's an escort. Uh, <laughs> and what uh, not only my friends have told me the guys who are, are um, hiring these young ladies, but then also I have two clients who are uh, 
one was a former prostitute, one is a current prostitute in uh, Vegas. The number one thing is not the sex. It is what's called the girlfriend experience. Yeah, and uh, as, as rough and tumble and stoic as men may put themselves off to be, uh, there still is this emotional component that they have, and they would like to actually be with women long term, in inevitably, and all that uh, kind of stuff. And yeah, the sex you can you can rub one out and be done with it. Uh, but the the and I haven't done any economic analysis to tell if this is empirically. But true, he will. But I will someday when I'm paid a lot of money. Um, based on my agents in the field and the reports and all that, the, the hottest thing is not even have the sex. It's just to have a girl. And here's what it's really sad to show up on time and be nice and just treat you kindly. Yeah. To, and even if it's synthetic or, or disingenuous and paid for, uh, that is what, you know, according to the anecdotal bits of evidence. Well, it's so I lacking. Have. Men are willing to pay for that. Well, and, and, yeah. and men are willing to pay for it, but um, you want to know why, why would men do OnlyFans as opposed to just getting porn? Because there's this veneer, this synthetic. Uh, there's, a there's a, well, there's a buffer there too, but it's it's a substitute where it's like, oh yeah, she's actually talked to me, and you did a great video with Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. If you girls wanted to hear Cobra, a dark yeah, co it, it just shout a, out to Andrew Tate, man. Yeah, he'll yeah be here, Cobra he'll Tate be is here, that. Uh, next he'll be month, here in April. Yeah, 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 yeah Cobra Tate is a about, real one. Yeah, so he he runs a, a porn site, More and awful. he was talking about how. The girls are doing whatever they're doing on the webcam, but there are what four guys sometimes that are running, that are, running that are tweeting and texting her fans, and they say, "Okay, lean over and act like you're typing, texting something like that," because they are paying for the interaction. Mm -hmm. TNA has been free since what ninety eight, ninety nine. Yeah, since the internet. Eighteen ninety eight. Okay, well anyway, <laughs> uh, and and but you say why is it because men actually are human. They do want to have some kind of connection, and it takes a long time. And the eighty percent of the guys who aren't willing to go to the gym or risk themselves or get shot down or whatever else, oh wow, I could just pay this and have the synthetic heroin shot up my veins. They'll do it, and so that's kind of the why you have that disparity or like, well, why is it porn? Because they're two separate products essentially. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, I think it also depends upon experience too, right? Um, I think actress. guys, well, well, I mean for the guy, right? Like, like a guy like me, I don't, I don't need emotional connection because I've done, I've done that enough. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, like, you know what it is. You understand that when a girl says certain things, she means certain things. Um, so a Don, guy Donovan, like me, how, I think how many, how many OnlyFans subscriptions do you have? None. No, well, probably. then there was. Then that's yes. Fine. There we, there, there um, we go. Real quick, guys, uh, hit some super chats because uh, they're they're piling up. And we Let's got do fourteen fifty live viewers right wow. now. Wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm yeah, cool I'm now. Uh, I'm cool. Uh, Daniel uh, Rag Gugna. Uh, <laughs> I think I spelled it. We're, 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 we're 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 okay, we're let's go. Uh, fresh and fit. Donovan Sharp going hard. Thank you very much. Uh, Nolan Baptiste, uh, Canadian five dollars. When women make personal attacks against men. Then that means she already lost the argument. Okay, yep. Uh, ad hominem attacks don't work. Uh, baby uh, beats. Oh, beats by AS3, uh, I think. Thanks for the content. Turn 18 last month. Been here since the Jordan Reed days. Oh, thank you, Brad. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah for you guys that don't know, you, yeah. uh, Jordan Reed is a personal friend of mine, uh, childhood friend. Uh, Fred right Ward, in for uh, the Niners. <laughs> 2092, 499. Uh, this is epic. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, and then what else do we got? Anything else? Oh, okay. We got um, Nixon talks. Nixon talks. Okay. Wow. Look at the quality behind the mics, and the women are okay too. <laughs> Special shout out to Rolo and Donovan. Follow my only MG, fans. Man, what a setup and show and concept. Thank you for the discourse and knowledge that goes to everyone. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's all about bringing everybody together, man. Only we don't fans hate women. Slash Donovan we, bring, Sharp. we bring us together, baby. No hate. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, two ninety nine. Cheers, gents. Uh, what else? Um, then we got Sam uh, Kilborn, five dollars. Ask the girls. If they had to choose one oh, of you to go. sleep oh, with, who would they go. choose? There they had go. to pick one. No BS answers. Uh, maybe we'll do that at the end. Maybe. Uh, maybe Kyle, maybe. one cruel irony. As soon as Westworld, Westworld like robots become real, you will have no choice but to bring what? Mo I missed something more than sex yeah. at the table. Okay, yeah, all right. More than sex. Kyle, Kyle won uh, be hate, and uh, he get mad sometimes. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, continue on. Uh, Kid Flash, $20 on a trip to Vegas. I got finessed into the strip club shuttles. Oh, Met one of the baddest strippers ever. Mistake. She made me think we were in love. Oh. Uh, oh. R.I.P. My friend, all I got to say is... <laughs> so, um, okay, with that said, uh, so bit. we're going to... Guys, real quick, I want to make it... We, we're going to definitely hit over 1,500. Guys, if you want... Uh, to ask the panel a question, super chat in every super chat, $10 and above. 
will be answered if you guys uh, want to super chat. That's questions. strategy. That's getting the bag. Yeah, and and the only reason I'm doing it, guys, is because Chris is losing his hair back there, and he doesn't have much left. So uh, <laughs> he's literally stressing out in the back right now, monitoring the chat. Uh, all good. He does look like Dr. Dre, though. All jokes aside, without the hat. He does. Uh, we Real got talk. Did You Nomad, uh, Don uh, Don DeMarco, uh, hashtag stunning and brave. Uh, Did You Nomad, uh, Philly and CT is in the house, but we all know Jersey is better. Though, LOL, love the show. Oh, and also, guys, so everything over ten dollars, it, it, if it's a question, it's going to get answered yep. and it's going to get read. Anything below that, guys, we, can't. we can't stop you the show. To, right to Don DeMarco, no Don you know DeMarco. Yeah, so if you do ten and above, guys, we'll, we'll you know shout you out and every and uh, answer the question. Yeah, definitely, I'll show it on the screen, but uh, we won't read it. Same yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll show it on the screen, guys. Yeah, Let's we'll show it. Okay, let's do it. So. Any other questions for the, the guys? Or, oh, no, it was yeah, one and one. Was, one and one, they asked. And then they asked about OnlyFans. Now you guys go. Okay. Oh, okay. You guys have a question? Donovan, you Rolo, Aaron? You know what? I'll bring this up. Can men and women be friends? <laughs> no. Oh, well, w- w- men and women can be friends, but the only person that benefits from that friendship is the woman, not the man. Boom. Let's go on the panel. But Donovan, you want to add more to that? You I know, don't think you... they only benefit. I think we choose how the relationship goes. Yeah. I do a lot for my male friends, but yeah, obviously. But you don't fuck them, though, do you? No. Well, there I we don't go. Fuck my well, friends. Well, there, well, right. Exactly. There you go. Um, that's why guys are friends with girls because they want to fuck you guys. You guys know that. Like, I know all three of you guys. Hold on, hold on. I don't think it's only that. I can't. Are you I can't. I don't. Sable. I don't. Sable. I don't. Just be, I've said this well, before. Like uh, honestly, a lot of my male friends have done stuff I guess, for me. I guess. Hold on. Hold on. I got something. Then I guess. What we can do then <laughs> is we can uh, have you guys text your male platonic friends, tell them you're horny. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Every single one of them would send you back eggplant emojis, and you. There <laughs> you go. You, guys you that know it. That you can and be that's okay. That's like that's okay. I don't do that. There, there's only one guy I think that wouldn't, and I'm too scared to ask because I don't, I, I don't want him to be like scared of me. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, like. Do you think he's a switch hitter? No, I just don't think I'm his type. I think I remind him of his sister. So Ooh. I think that's all. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> well, that was a curveball. <laughs> Holy shit! Every one of you guys have been in situations where there's a male friend, and your friends tell you, you know, he wants to bang you, right? And you guys say, no, he doesn't. Look at her. She knows. Yeah. No, he doesn't. You guys know that every single one of your male friends would put your cervixes in your spines if given half the chance. Is that true? I mean, you have a penis. Yes. If, if I was to say, <laughs> yes, let's go do this. Yes. That's the I, answer. I, yeah. There, 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 there you I've go, never slept with any of my friends. Of though. course not. Exactly. Like, whose fault is that, though? That's that's a guy's fault. Like, we want to be friends. Y'all I'm not placing blame. I'm not placing blame for us to like. Try and be friends. I am not placing blame. Yeah, girls are so mean, basically man. you're like, saying no. you want to be you guys. Made a sugar spice and everything. Nice. I can't there. believe what I'm hearing. What is this? What is this nonsense you speak of? Girls are mean. I don't believe it. Women have boyfriends and girlfriends. Oh, and if you're not fucking her, you're you her, are her girlfriend. girlfriend. That's how it works. Because, That's fair. Because well, yeah, That's correct. I, I think so too. And I'll tell you why. Because men and women, when it comes to friendships. Our only frame of reference is my friendship with with Donovan. Like that's that's how I recognize friendship for so like intrasexual, uh, yeah, intrasexual friendship instead of intersexual friendship. Yes. So you guys are all friends. So you relate in a way in a friendship in a frame of reference of, of friendship between women, and you know what you expect from them because you communicate the same way. You you can start you can start a story in the middle of the story, and she knows. Oh yeah, I know exactly. You know exactly where she's at because you don't have to give some backstory or build anything up. You already know where you're at. Women communicate in much different ways than men do. They communicate on an emotional level, on an, uh, a covert level. They are more attuned to sub communications. They're more attuned to uh, like uh, vocal intonations and and and. Uh, uh, body language and just what you wore, right? Women will get together just to talk. For men, men communicate overtly. And so when we pretend to be friends with you, we feel like men, if they want to be friends with a woman, they, the, the, we're f- trying to fuck the frame. Well, the frame, yeah, exactly. Well, you're, you're, so it's you're qualified. Always pretend. Well, it's, yeah. it's pretend. No, it's not always pretend, but it, we're communicating in a way that we think you expect us like i'm if if I'm, we're friends i'm gonna like oh, i'm a guy yourself. i'm gonna try to relate to you like she is so that we, we can be friends so hey let's go do our nails together or let's go do whatever kind of thing and what i'm doing what i'm saying is that in, in a friendship the frame of that friendship ends up the guy turns himself into a woman so that he can communicate with you on a friendship level like another woman and that's what, unattractive. and what happens is your hind brain says 
I'm not talking to a man, I'm talking to another girl. That's what I mean by boyfriends and girlfriends. If you're not fucking her, you are her, you are girlfriend. her girlfriend. And not because I'm, I'm saying it not to be an asshole. I'm saying it because that's how guys, most guys will transform themselves okay. to align and identify with what they think you would communicate best with. And so when guys tell me, oh, I have lots of platonic girlfriends and stuff. So, <laughs> we what, laugh what, at them. What, what do you do? Like, go, oh, we hang out. Okay, what does hang out mean? <laughs> and then it's, it's usually whatever the, the woman wants. So like if, the, if I have hobbies, or if I want to go see a football game and say, Hey friend, let's go watch the, the you know, the Miami dolphins right. or whatever. Like th that's, that's what I would ask of a guy right. because I wouldn't expect her to want to share those same kind of interests. But right. if I'm trying to pretend to be her friend, let's go get our nails done. Then I'm going to relate to you and talk to you in a way that is a female language, I guess is what I'm saying, rather than a male language. I hear you, but just like what happens, there are some women that are outliers that like mentally are not like the typical woman. And what does that do have to do with men and women being friends? No, it, to me, it has everything to do with it. I have a lot in common with my male friends, bro. I'll go to a football game with you. We'll go get drunk. We're going to have fun. That, listen, you know what I, I agree. Mean? So, like, I agree, I but almost all mind, of your I'm male like, friends would fuck you. You know this. But that well, that but works. That's, up, that's the that's, point. That's, 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 is it, you would you know, fuck anything is what, come it, on. what it sounds like. No, no, no. It, no, no, no hold on, sounds like men would fuck a ham sandwich. Yeah. If we're gonna Sometimes, throw it out there, actually, if they're thirsty enough, they absolutely, listen, if they're thirsty enough. They have. They probably socks. Owls, all this other shit. Whoa, wait a minute. Please continue. Bananas. Socks and whoa, whoa. <laughs> they made a whole movie about fucking a pie. Come on. American Multiple pie. movies. So, so, right. so if a dude would fuck a pie, right? You understand why becoming friends with you, that's really what he's trying to do is get the but bag. Once again, whose fault is that? I'm not here. Asking, I'm not here. I am not here to discuss so, the, the question was hold on. Together, the question like little kids. The question I'll answer and said the question was can men and women be friends? The, the the answer is yes, they can be friends. It's not beneficial for the men, but it's beneficial for the women. I'm not assigning fault here. Listen, if I were a girl, so we have listen, the right equipment. Look, check this saying. out. And here I'm, here's something else. The friend zone for guy the friend zone for guys is the equivalent of the fuck friend zone for women. You understand? You guys have been fucking a guy who won't commit. That's equivalent to the friend zone for a guy. You want the com you can get all the dick you want. He'll give you he'll dick you down two o'clock in the morning all you want. He's not going to give you the commitment. Guys want the sex, but he gets the commitment from the girl. So it's the sex he wants is the commitment you want. So a situation ship, that's the friend zone for women. So friend zone is is uh, here's the analogy I think you're trying to get to here. Let's do it. <laughs> so friend zone for guys is like having uh, friends with benefits. Okay, so when you're in a like a, you have a fuck buddy, right? It's all the sex and no emotional investment, there and no, there's nothing else except for hey, come on over, the booty call, let's go, right? For guys being in the friend zone, it's all emotional but no sex, no booty. So it's like it's the opposite extreme for guys. So it's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll be happy. To, you, their phone for you, they become the emotional tampon. I think is what we're we, we call it. So you, you got a guy who who wants to be your friend, but. There's no sex. That's I see somebody shaking their head. There's no sex that's reciprocated. Change and your mind. It is analogous to the booty call. So like when you're like in a, if you were in a friend's like a, a booty call situation and you really want to get with the guy, but the guy's like, no, I just want to have you have sex with you. That's I don't want to have zone, an emotional yeah. investment. It's that's it's zone. analogous to having the guy who's in the friend zone. All right, real quick, we're gonna read super chats and then get back to the girls. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. The so mobile. okay, so we got uh, Tom A with the fifty dollars super chat and Chris. Oh. Let's start. Let's start cataloging these questions as well. Uh, uh, f f Tom A with the fifty dollars super chat. I think it's deeper than male female. It's human programming. We all desire connection and purpose. The loss of purpose is the loss of desire. The loss of desire is the loss of spirit slash fire. That natural gravity the most desirable people have dead inside. Damn, Listen, son, uh, where'd you find this? That was too. That Hold was on, real quick. Deep. I appreciate. I, like, I appreciate the fifty dollars super chat, but that's it's not that complicated. Yeah, it it's was really very, not. Yeah. it's not that. It's it's really not that complicated. But thank it's, you it's so much simple. for that. Appreciate it though. I think uh, he gets it. I think, I think Tom of course. has sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Course, right. We like Tom. You guys never my but question. would you fuck Tom? I don't know. We can't see his picture. How okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so you would fuck a ham sandwich then. Oh, okay. there it is. Is All it right, a so, hot uh, ham sandwich? Uh, Jake, <laughs> we got Jake Red Tail Snake with the $20 super chat. Rolo, break this down, please. I like the feeling of conquering and dominating a woman. I've never been into any virtual BS like OnlyFans, etc. I thought that was normal. LOL, but OnlyFans is apparently popular. Okay, we will catalog that one uh, in, yeah, the, that uh, in the at the end. Uh, Matta... Matasuki, okay, ten dollars super chat. We got Cappy, Sharp, and Rolo in the same room at the same time with a room full of women. Yeah, you guys is welcome, man. Fresh and fit, do it right. Hell yeah! yeah yo, 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 guys, real talk. This is legendary. Yeah, it is. Legendary. Take a moment, right? Breathe in. This is this is no no. This is gold because think about it. You got Donovan Sharp, 
It's you so got, funny. These girls have no idea who we are. Yeah, yeah that's the whole thing. <laughs> they have no idea who we are. This You've got rule of motherfucking Tomasi. We know he's the godfather, yeah. and we like this gentleman yeah, he's like, a lot. He's he's guys, like him a lot. this yeah. has yeah. never yeah. been done. You like guys you. are cool? Yeah. Guys, this has never been done before. So <laughs> thank you. And, and uh, yeah, man. Anyway, so let's continue. Extra Glock, $10. Epic collaboration. Shout out to the panel. Philly Lock. and uh, John. Yeah, you're, hey, man. Yes, welcome. Sir. And guys, he spelled it right too. Rational Mail Book Four is out, guys. Shameless one. plug from my man Rolo. And you yes, can get the first one, which I recommend every man reads so you don't get finessed. Okay. Harry Wilson. Uh, NZ, $10. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Strong independent sugar baby. Okay. Why do women say they are marrying their best friend? What does this mean in English? Oh, oh woman. Save ease. that. Save that. Save that for uh, Chris. Please save that. And then uh, James Bennett, uh, 1999. Why do you think there are such. Uh, there are such pushback on the inherent truths. Rollo, you wrote in wrote a book that literally explains all three of these women's sexual selection mechanisms. It literally is in a box. Uh, James, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But that, well, that's why the discussion is happening right now, my friend. Uh, Roy, Car and please make the spelling a little bit better. That was tough to read. Women will never understand the burden of male performance, nor do they care to. Breaking hearts is nothing to them. Shout out to the superhero Ooh, men on this panel. Out. Roy yeah, what Carl about women's yeah. 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 we, we will get to it. Hold on. Y'all Roy Kaufman evil. with the twenty four ninety nine. Thank you so much for that. And then are there anything else? <laughs> We're caught back up. Okay, going back to, you had a disagreement with Rolo on uh, sex being a nagalist or something like that. Friend zone versus... Fuck friend zone. Yeah, I, I don't believe it's strictly that. I, I really don't. I'm not saying that if you don't, if I didn't throw it out there with some of my friends, they wouldn't hit it out the park. I'm there just saying, I'm just saying I do have male friends that have done a lot of things for me and I've done a lot of things for them. And it really is more of like, we are friends. You know what I mean? And I have a lot of male friends. I'm the only girl there. There's so, a reason uh, how about, for how that. How about you text them and say you're horny and let's see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Hashtag bottomed it. out. Yeah, she don't want to do it. Amanda. You want to know why? If she does, you want to know what ha what'll happen if she does that? If she texts him and I tells him that he they're turns horny, me down. He's like, "Fuck you." Yeah, just, 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 just hang on a second. Well, there's <laughs> there's some truth in that too. That means you would probably fuck him after that. But if she if she texts all of her male friends, she's like, "Oh my god, he's right. I can't believe it." You text all your male friends and say I'm horny. That's going to ruin your friendships because now you don't have that carrot to dangle. Well, not really the carrot. Oh, they don't have guys, the carrot to chase anymore. Real quick. We got the sea bear. Holy uh, moly. Yeah, the sea bear donated $200. 1,700 people. Let's do it. Uh, 1700 people. Donating for such a rare in-person panel. So glad I caught this show. Good times. Yo, so the sea bear. Thank you so much. Silver I appreciate stable. it. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we will, I, I guess. Yeah, please break this down. We're nobody. Right. Bear, DM us okay. on the side. Uh, okay. A fresh and fit Miami on Instagram. So go ahead. The ladies want to know. Yeah. Who each of you are? Because they, they're, they're like, yeah. they're like, wow. I'll you go first. Pop in. So I'll Donovan, first. can you tell them who you are? Yeah, please. I'm Donovan Sharp. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. Oh, let, yeah. You know what? Maybe let me, a let little bit this. more yeah. than let that. Me, let me do this because they're they're gonna be no. I'm gonna do this because they're gonna be modest and they're not gonna talk about their accomplishments. So let me let me let me do this. Donovan Sharp, uh, huge YouTube channel, over 100,000 subscribers, helps men understand female nature, how to become the best version of themselves, wow, and in general, understand Who does that? Uh, Donovan. He, and he also teaches guys, you know, about, you know, positive masculinity, understanding female uh, language. Uh, he's known for womanese, uh, his trademark. Volume four yeah. drops on Friday. Tra what she says versus what she means. Basically taking, uh, you know, typical female fra fr uh, phrases like, oh, it's not you, it's just me, and then deciphering it for men, because let's keep it real, most guys are socially slower than women are. Then we got Aaron Cleary, uh, economist, author, uh, critically acclaimed author. A critically fucking acclaimed author. genius. Uh, a statistician, uh, basically works the numbers when it comes to money management, finances, and also works out the cost of pursuing women for, for men. I did an analysis. I did a complete analysis. The book of which, numbers. Which if you guys want to ask him about that, it'll be very interesting. He'll the tell you. Is worth the squeeze. Yeah. He'll break that down. And then obviously we got Rolo Tomasi, the godfather, the godfather. of the manosphere. Male model, uh, male stripper, <laughs> um, uh, That's why body, the is Mr. Here, o competitor, and uh, all around great guy. No, yeah. seriously, the reason why this man is the reason our community exists. Yeah. It is, even though I'm friends with him, I'm still starstruck by this guy. It's incredible. I'm Author so, of so several books, The Rational oh, that, Male Series. And he's like, ah. the, so this, the Rational Male Series basically teaching guys about masculinity, how uh, how female uh, psychology really works. And uh, honestly, Rolo is one of the few guys in the sphere that advocates that men and women need, they're better together than they are apart. I agree. But he wants guys to understand yeah. how women think so that they don't put a noose around their neck or yes. put guns in their mouths and Rolo save many lives. Yes. So Donovan and Aaron. So uh, that's yeah. who these men are. So ladies, basically in a uh, long, uh, short shell of an of a explanation that he just did, these guys can answer questions regarding dating 
and what you want out of a guy, basically. Yes. Yeah. Thirteen oh, inches. Yes. Uh, another one. Red pill Mike Red with pill Mike in the building. I'm yeah. to see if this starts off at the point of diminishing returns, or if y'all have to spend an extended amount of time before it happens. This is Red Pill Gold. The, <laughs> the minds in this room. Where's all this love on my channel? Indescribably <laughs> impeccable and spot on. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, on my channel, please. Don yeah, we have to do two Don DeMarcos right there. Oh, um, two yep. Don DeMarcos. Yep. Oh. And then um, uh, Red Pill Mike, he's a, he's very uh, generous, uh, Rolo. He's always yeah. supporting on Donovan's channel I think as Red well. Pill Mike is a secret millionaire. Yeah, he's a secret, he's millionaire. A secret millionaire. Okay, yeah. uh, that's it, right? Okay, cool. We're good. Um, uh, ladies, so you had a question. I think it was a lady's turn, right? Uh, with a question? Yes. Yep. Okay. Go so ahead. So I believe you want to ask a question, right? From before? Or do you I have? didn't have a question, but... Uh... Sounds like a disagreement. Do you, do you want to have, have a, do you have a question then? Or Amanda, you want to take another one? I don't. I prefer okay. the girls had questions because we keep pummeling you know people what? with yeah. questions. I, I, be I'll bring up another uh, uh, table topic then. For example, okay. Um, so in this case, right? You guys want equal partnership in relationships, or do you want to have a man lead you in a relationship, and why? I'll fit it. Or they oh, lead the man. Oh, look at Silver. Oh, there's look a, there's a third like, oh option. God, I can't wait to yeah. say fuck no. Um, I have to trust <laughs> you to lead. Okay. Look at her. She's like, oh, I can't believe this shit. Well, go ahead, G. I have to trust you to lead. If okay. Oh, that enough. is one thousand percent. Very true. And 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 real quick, this is where a lot of guys go wrong: is they think they want to be the leader, and if your if your woman doesn't trust you to lead, she is not going to allow you to lead. You must you must be trustworthy in your decision making, and a leader. Otherwise, she's not going. My girl doesn't. You know, she doesn't trust me. She doesn't let me be the leader. That's because you have not taken ownership of the leadership. Position. Exactly. Like. A woman will submit to a man she can trust to lead as a man. And I'm an alpha female. I have no no such thing. Then whatever is closest to it. Like I I want I, I have enough having to take care of myself, leading a business, making my own money, and having to deal with what I deal with living in, in Miami, um, where I don't want to have extra added stress. Like, yes, I want you to be the man. I want you to lead. I have no problem with my man leading. I have no problem with submitting to him. But I have to trust him in order to be able to be a leader. And if a woman is not submitting to you, she doesn't trust you to be yeah. a leader, dog. Real talk. Real talk. Uh, I agree with man. her 100%. And that was very similar to my answer the last time. Wait, I was about here. the alpha okay. female? About no, the alpha I female? am an alpha female. But again, no we, we were talking about, oh, men are allowed to go cheat on me. And I'm like, hell no. You're cheating ass, lying ass. Ain't going to lead me nowhere mm. except hell and, and being look, broke. And, and that's look, not going to happen. And look at the twinkle Amanda, in your eye. Amanda, are you the oldest in your family by chance? I am the youngest and the you're oldest. Kidding. My what? family oh, was only. getting Whoa. it. So you're the, you're the I am my mother's youngest child and my father's oldest child. Wow. Do you have, do you have wow. That is siblings? incredible. Yes, she has siblings. I, I She's I the oldest. How older old are you? You're the youngest then. No, no, I'm the. So my sister is 36. I'm 31. I have a brother that's 30, 27, and 24. Okay, so you're in the upper age of that group. Okay, because you seem like your preacher's kid who was the eldest and beat the shit out of your younger siblings. I was raised extremely yeah. religiously under okay. a big Christian yeah, rock well, until I was like, that that so surprise. Surprise. You, were okay. a Christian home. you were raised Great in a Christian job. home, you say. Look, but I mean, I was learned to defy authority at a young age because mm -hmm. the stuff these saying people were, people were saying was crazy and didn't make any sense. So you were raised in a strict Christian household, you say. All right. Uh, and Woman needs volume three. Woman needs <laughs> volume three. So I have to agree with what G said, but um, in my household, my mom always wore the pants. Like she yeah, was the alpha female, and that's that's what I saw. Even Please talk into Mike. Even with my father, like my my mother was was the, the alpha. Father. She was she wore the pants. She 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 made the money. So that's what I was raised. Whoa! So your dad was a house husband? That was, yeah, basically. Wow. And I'm sorry, Dad, if you're. I mean, I don't know. This why would you be sorry? Well, hold on now. Why would you be sorry about that? I just because it's like because it's, it's not the norm. Stigmatized. It's not the norm, you know. Stigmatized. Like, why exactly. is it stigmatized? Well, it is, you know. Because so you would have no like problem having men. a house husband. Even you just said it. There's no such thing as an alpha female. Right. But there is. So then, what makes that him a beta male? What is this? That just makes him a wife. Out of well, curiosity, are they still yeah, married? Is that's it what it is. No, and that's the thing. Oh. My mom has there you been go. okay. And I understand. So this is where I'm getting to. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is an equal partner. I agree with what you're saying. Like if I see that the man can't provide or, you know, he's 
at loss at at some point of his life like he he's bad credit all this so there's so many things that like go fresh into that. yeah yeah i know i know that <laughs> <laughs> hey man i'm still here oh, yeah. like, i'm sitting right here you're dude. in the shadows I you're told so you dark I can't tell. bad credit is not an issue girl that's easy to fix say what but is bad it? credit oh. is not an issue that's easy to fix. It's sorry, like, get... exactly but like but being it... broke no okay but Arjun, continue on it... with your your original thought okay. but my original thought is just is i once again, I agree with what you're saying. And, and um, because I came from a family like that, like there's a lot of things that I was like veered towards, but I, I need at the end of the day, somebody that is going to pull their weight. So at the end of the day, yeah. Alpha females, an alpha female can only exist in a household where there's no strong male presence. And I say that with air quotes. If there's no strong male presence in the house, there is no alpha. That's just all there is to it. This is why this is why boys raised by single mothers either become switch hitters or criminals, and girls raised by single mothers end up right over there. But why can't I was raised both? by a single mother? I've never stripped a day in my life, and I probably have more well, pride in self. Well, congratulations! Than in this room. Congratulations! You are the statistical anomaly. Yeah, I am the statistical there anomaly. There you go. But in the real world, this is how this. That's works. also why but you imagine. have to be a strong man to lead me, because this woman let men lead her straight into hell, and I'm not going to do that. Amanda, I'd rather make my own money and not deal with your shit. Amanda, how many? How, <laughs> how many Miami girls, though? Right? Are the opposite of you? Like 99.89%. So and your husband's to... name is? Nobody. I'm not married. I rest my case, Your Honor. I rest my case. I okay. could be married. There's a difference. Hold though. on. Hold on. You it could was be. offered to me. To hold on. Married. Hold on. Then why aren't you? Because for me, there's a, adult relationships are complicated. Mm -hmm. And there were things in my relationship that I saw as an issue in the future. And for me, I'm not about wasting time. As soon as I realized like, Hey, mm -hmm. there's some fatal flaw here. Like I'm going to very nicely dip out. Okay. Well, that doesn't really sound like a good situation. To We're going to come back to this. real quick. I'm just going to read these yeah. off. All right. Avery, oh, they're coming in. legendary. I love seeing great men doing great things. Thank you. Fresh and fit for, for bringing this all together. Yeah, bro. We're out here, yes. man. Hashtag. Uh, oh, um, he's in Miami. Yeah. John McCartney. $10 is super sticker. Thank yeah. you so much. James Burnett. Another 99 super sticker. God damn. Wow. Uh, do you think this conversation will bear any positive fruit? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, they, they might learn something. Right? They might say, Screw these guys are misogynists. Who knows? Sir. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Don't listen. It, listen, if I were a girl, I'd have every, every guy I know man friends. Friend I have. Okay. Got there you go. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Sir, well, Mr. I mean, Jason, that would be uh, stupid, but ten dollars basically sitting next to legends, true in your face legends, over nine thousand. Thank you very much for that. Power uh, level with the scouter. Uh, Mark Bau uh, Bauer, twenty dollars legends getting together in the three hundred five. Keep up the great work, everyone. Don the Marco, absolutely, man. Appreciate it. it. Don't, don't Roy Kaufman, go, 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 Rolo, please explain to the ladies the war bride. You can't break the hearts of creatures that don't have one. Men end it uh, over this stuff, and women just move on. Get under one to get under over one. <laughs> oh, yeah, to get right. over him, you got to get up. Oh, okay, yeah. we will. Yes, we will. Uh, Chris, please make a note of that one, yeah, too. And then we got another $100 super chat. Yes. Thank you, brother. Uh, uh, appreciate you. Rolo, a year ago, saved my life. His book flipped the, uh, flipped the switch in my head, and I've been going full speed ever since. In the past year, I've lost 60 go. pounds, doubled my six-figure awesome. income. No debt, and will be re retiring this year. At wow, age forty-three. You better start smashing. Wow. How tall is, how tall is job, he? Brother. How tall is he? Uh, notice, uh, notice he gave he? Myron the hundred-dollar donation, and not you, even though you're the one that saved. <laughs> Roll is peeping and all this out, and I did all of that without a class or a teachable or a Punjabi or whatever. Yeah, there, you <laughs> there you go. There you go. The elusive uh, twenty dollars so, uh, tonight on the F uh, Fresh and Fit podcast, the six-man death match of the century. The Schlong Dom Master Dom, <laughs> Cappy the Fappy, and uh, the Godfather versus the, the Deep Throat Deep Divas, Deep 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 Miami Bamba, Asian Domination, oh and the Rack on the Attack Silver Sable. <laughs> oh, they call you Asian. She's not Asian for the record. She's not the Yao Ming of women. Eight, I mean, Domination, that's a little, I like that, but Asian is not right. What is your nationality? Oh, I'm Miami. So, uh, Miami <laughs> like, that's all she saw. Miami oh, I'm the Miami baby. baby. Um, as she bats so, her eyelashes, James Burnett. All I hear daddy issues and fear of commitment. Okay, thank you for the Ooh, $50. Okay, um, Jake Redpill Red Snake. Snake. How the F do guys only have these guys only have 25k subscribers? This is one of the best YouTube live streams. 
YouTube algorithm hates you guys. YouTube straight can't handle up. the truth. Yeah, straight up. Keeping it real, real man. man. It's because we make Keep fun of respect. Curtis Connor, bitch ass nigga. Anyway, yeah. Mexi Mike, $10. Ain't no, uh, want that? Drop the mic. I Somebody don't, get we don't speak emojis, you, you, you dude. Can, we don't speak yeah, emojis. The brother godfather to help Silver Fox understand that? why she's still single. I think he wants Kevin Samuels to come onto the show. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Oh, King. Oh, he's 6'3". 6'3". All right, dude, you're going to get it, Play the love connection theme. Here we go. Real talk. We tagged the girls in Instagram. So if you follow us on Instagram, holler. Yo, guys, follow us. Pressure Fit Miami, <laughs> and you can see their tags and follow them. Yep. But real quick, um, yeah, what? I think you wanted your to explain nationality. your nationality. nationality. Oh, God. All right. So I was born and raised in Miami. Um, my nationality, my mom's side is Ecuadorian, and my dad is Colombian. So I'm All right. She's 100% exotic. Hispanic. There you go. Um, uh, yeah. what, what, what do we got? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. okay. Bam. One thing, real quick, uh, yeah. if, if you guys don't mind, I want to shout out somebody special in here right now. Okay. Christopher what? Garcia. Come Chris, here, wait, oh, yeah, Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris, come yeah, say hello. Yeah, yeah. This guy flew all the way from San Antonio to hang with everyone here in this room. Come yeah. on. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, CG is up, in the man. house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what's up, man. CG was giving <laughs> the girls the business off the air, man. He was quizzing, he was quizzing these girls there. Yeah, and I was Chris, like, yeah. Chris, ask one question. We'll, we'll get to the panel. Come on. I'll put you in the spot. <laughs> hey, you're in here now. Fresh is sucking at his job anyway, Chris. You got to take care of it. Yeah. He's so right. finally a Maybe white guy. To this one. So let's say you do find a Hawaii man. Why would he pick you? Oh, damn. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll turn it to the ladies on this one. Here we go. Good job, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for the excellent question. Uh, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with G. I like putting her on the spot. Go ahead. Why would a high value man choose me? Yes. Yeah. Um, because I'm a high, wa- I'm a high value woman. Why? I don't have children. I'm educated. Uh, I cook. I like okay. sports. Okay. All right. Hey, we're two and a half for four. Keep going. I'm clean. You have big boobs. I'm yeah, you should have led with that okay, before your career. There you go. You should have just went um, with that. If you said big boobs, no kids, and can cook. There you go. I got a nice butt. I think better than Stand up. Boobs. Stand up. Turn around. <laughs> she does. She really does. Uh, Stand up and turn around. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Let's don't go. Let, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, she oh, does. Yeah. Oh. Wow, she does have a nice ass. Yeah. Yo, how did I not how did I not see that when she came in? Yo, she's Miami Bambi, man. <laughs> Miami? <laughs> she's really short. <laughs> Yo, she's got a she's got a she's got a nice ass on the real. <laughs> For real. I did not even so, see all of that. What yeah. about you, uh Amanda? Pretty, great boobs, great butt, there you go. great personality. I can cook. I am interesting. And people <laughs> will never be bored with me. We're going to play games. I'm going to beat your ass, but it's still going to be fun. You know what? Hold on real quick. You, you, mean, you, mean, you mean like wrestling, Myron? Uh, <laughs> uh, wrestling? It, can, can we put on fat suits and like really wrestle? Because that would be dope. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm that out there. She, uh, listen, the prettiest eyes on the panel are yours. You have the kind of eyes that make me want to pull your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Doesn't okay. she? And uh, the hole oh, right through her head. The, the, the Asian. Asian persuasion. Asian, Asian persuasion. <laughs> She's feeling some type of way about that. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I get Equilumbian? I get it all the time. Equilumbian? Yeah. Yeah. Ecuadorian. Colombian. Um, no, I mean, I agree. I mean, I can cook. I can clean. I'm smart. You know, I got my bachelor's degree. Uh, good a personality. Good humor. I mean, I can keep you entertained for hours. Let me ask you all three of you a question here. Do the men you want, want women like you? Yes. It's a hit or miss. I would say yes, because I'm not interested in these high value guys. Oh, just, you know, banging go. out every chick somebody they give can me the find. Cap. I can't, somebody give me the cap. Somebody give me the cap. <laughs> it's a, it's oh, a hit or miss. It depends where you are in Miami. It's like you never know what you're going to get. I mean, that's a lie because every guy seems to be the same here in Miami. Every yeah. guy ever <laughs> yes. seems to be. Yes. But yes. No. We are all the same. We have so no problem. Admi- like and real quick. No, no, no. Real we quick. are all the same. I'm I want to hear Cappy and then Rolo talk about how. how we just just said Go. i just have it it's and this is more just of morbid curiosity so and one for anyone listening do uh, you girls believe you as well as women in general even though maybe you can't speak for all of them have an obligation to remain svelte and physically attractive for the guy you inevitably commit to yes 
Yes. You do. 100%. As well as the guy would have a, he also would have, he can't get fat either under that. It's thing. a two way thing. Right. 100%. Okay. He so, can't get too fat. It's also for us. Like, I like looking no, no, in the I mirror. Know. Like, come on. But you're not so delusional. Okay. You would not say no, big is beautiful. I don't, I don't, you're, you're not going to fall. I for have that been bullshit. chubby before and right. guys still dated me. But again, I never get it. Well, just that like my she says, guys are fucking am sandwich. So that my life is different because I'm cute. I also think that there's you said like hot ham sandwich. I said, no, it was her. You said hot ham sandwich. I said you guys fuck they towels both, and socks. They both are talking about ham sandwiches, and pies. first of all. <laughs> you said pies. Pies, towels, socks, anything. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. All right. Now, Rolo? All right. So let's let's clear the air here just for a second. So usually when you ask this question, it's like, you know, what is it that you bring to the table beyond your cooter? Right. Okay. So b beyond your sexuality, it's Cooter. the it's the uh, Patrice O'Neill used to have that that uh, that bit where he would say, you know, if you lost your vagina tomorrow, what would you do to keep your <laughs> to keep your man uh, to keep a man? Right. And and so he asks that he asks the you audience, you still have your it has mouth to do with your throat. Okay. So it, that's it, that's exactly what the ladies in the, the audience said, involved. right? And they said, oh, I give up the ass. I, I you know, I give him a good blowjob. Blah 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 blah. Right. Oh, and she's not said, already give up the ass. Well, no. What no what. <laughs> what Patrice O'Neill said was, he says, you just reduce yourself to a series of holes. Yeah. And so when you have to think of things in terms of like, what value do I have beyond my sexual nature? Like what, because usually that's what guys want, right? They want younger, hotter, tighter, right? That's that men have two criteria. Are you hot and are you available? Those are usually the two things. Now, beyond that, when we're talking about like attraction versus like say arousal, like what do you look for in a guy who's like, you just want to have sex with them on like a one night stand. We all know the answer to that. Because when you ask, and I told Rich or uh, Fresh this last night um, with other girls that were on here, I said, um, whenever you're asking that question, girls are, women girls are going to tell you what, first of all, what sounds right. And also what is going to be uh, what's their ideal for something in the long term, as opposed to I'm at the club. This guy was, uh, I was drunk. He was hot. And one thing led to another, right? It's a foam cannon party, right? <laughs> so, so that's the first part right there. And so when you're, when, when notice what every one of your answers was, was I got my own <clears throat> business. I take care of my own shit. I do my own stuff. I own my own house. I'm and, and pretty much every answer that you've given that has become something like value added beyond your physical has been something that I would think of in terms of a male perspective, right? I have my own business. I've got my own shit together. I've got everything. And so what you're, what you're saying to me is that you're, you're, you're better men than men should be like that. That's the thing that should make you attractive is to be more masculine because when somebody says, Oh, if, if somebody were to tell me, if a guy were to tell me, what do you bring to the table? beyond just like, you know, a nine inch personality, right? Well, <laughs> they're going to say the same thing. Pretty much. They're going to say, I've got my own car, uh, you know, all the, with the 436. Yeah. I got all that. Che yeah. Checklists yeah. and everything like that. And so and that gets back to the other uh, topic that you guys are talking about. Oh, I'm an alpha female. Okay. First off, there's no such thing as an alpha female, but not in the terms that you're thinking of right now. When you say alpha female, what comes to mind for most women is like Cheryl Sandberg. Right, somebody who's like the CEO <laughs> of Facebook oh, or, or like a Fortune 500. You know, like I'm, I'm a, you know, wear my shoulder Karen, pads and I'm Karen a, Smith. Yeah, exactly. And so you've got the, you've got this, this, um, this image of the alpha female who's dominant, who has her own business and everything else. And essentially, what she is is she's an alpha male with tits and a vagina. That's mm -hmm. what she ends up. So your, your impression or, or your, your definition of an alpha female is really a man. But it's a woman who's, who's assuming that role. So there is such a thing as an alpha female. And that alpha female is the hottest piece of ass you've ever seen. She's got beautiful boobs. She's got a right. nice hourglass figure. Because when it comes to dominance, intra-sexual dominance, it's the woman who can generate the most attention, the, who the men want to get with. That's right. right. That's an alpha because she's at the top of the heap. She's at the top of the dominance chain for women, which is sexuality, sexual agency. Is she hot? Is she available? Straight up. So, yes, there is alpha females. It's just not the alpha female that you're thinking of. Are there dominant personalities? And that's the other thing that you guys were just saying a minute ago. I need a man who's going to be able to, you know, uh, have uh, take charge and have some. Uh, I got to trust him. I think is what you guys were saying. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I, I'm asked this quite a bit. Like Rich Cooper asked me this: said, What would you do to like? What would you tell guys to vet for if they were looking for a wife? And my first, um, my first uh, response is this: Is does she trust you with her life? There if I go. was going to go to any of you, if you, or if you're man, the guy that you're with. 
I don't, I don't know what your real relationship situations are right now, but if the guy came up to you and says, honey, we're going skydiving and I just packed you a parachute, let's go. Would you go with that guy? Probably not because most women would be like, I don't trust him with my life. I don't trust him to even drive the car correctly in traffic. So it's that it's this by order of degrees. It's how much do I trust this guy? Because, and the reason why I say it's trusting with your life is because that's really what it is. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? What's, what's the plan for our lives? Are we going to have kids? Are we not going to have kids? Are we going to have a business? Are, am I going to make the money? Are you going to make the money? And that's where, that's why a dominant masculine man has to have drive, has to have everything that these guys that, that well them and everybody else who's come through here has said the same thing. I need a guy with drive. He's got to have confidence. He's got to love his mom. He's got to like puppy dogs. He's got to like rainbows. He's got to like, you know, all this stuff. And as a result of that, it's got to be a guy that you trust, but that trust comes at the, um, at the price of dominance. So you were, you were just saying a minute ago, I would submit to a guy if I trusted him, what's going to make you trust him is he's going to provide security. You trust him to provide for protection. Like he's, he can kick ass. He's, he's got provisioning. He's got a great job. He's parentally invested, meaning he wants to have kids in the future kind of thing. So there's a lot of things I'm that out. go along with that. So when it comes to alpha females, try not to think of it in terms of I'm a female and I have all these masculine alpha male qualities. Instead, try to think of it, think of this in terms of like femininity. What, what, what was it that, what was the girl that came through here? She said, uh, yesterday, she said loyalty was the first oh, yes. thing out of her mouth. And uh, I was like, wow. Yeah, uh, break. Wow. It's a symptom of Miami. Honestly, yeah. it really is like guys out here could be five, two and nothing and still be cheating. You're saying can a man be loyal? You just kind of said that. I mean, can. men can be, are they? Well, men who can get ass on the side, get ass. They're on the not side. in okay. Miami. Real quick. Real They're quick, not. Ladies. Well, we have okay. yeah. right now 2k live viewers. Woo! The most we ever had mm -hmm. on a show. New record, yeah. baby. Thank you guys. We had, had 2100 earlier, but I didn't want to stop it yep. for that. And also two reasons, well. two, two reasons, yeah. your eyes and your ass. Yes. <laughs> also as well, Myron. What about yeah. me? Nice what about me? And, and, and your height. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're, I'm like, you're, I have a nice ass, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want answer at all. It's whatever the correct answer is you all want us to say right now. Real quick, guys. I want Myron. Ladies, you're all pretty. I want Myron to break down as well why men can cheat. Oh, but we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, just, we'll do that later. After yeah. super chat. Oh, yes. I'm like, I have to She's listen to it red. again. She's turning oh, from God. the silver sable into the red sable right okay, before our we'll very read eyes. These. We'll read these real quick, guys. Um, and thank you for the support, uh, 2100 plus live viewers. This what? is insane. What? The one in Telegram first. Okay. So, all right. So we got uh, uh, Chris gave me one. I'll all read right, this one quick. Uh, so this no, one? Well, I got it right here. Okay, cool. Saint Jim, ten dollars. Uh, D Sharp, Rolo, AC, Mariner, Fresh. Hall of Fame RP, you guys have the best late night show on YouTube. Donovan Myron, please explain Patrice O'Neill's great white analogy to the women. We'll do that after. We will. Um, that will be saved. Um, and then we got uh, Eugene Morgan, twenty dollars. I'm actually digging Silver Sable. I don't know why, but her <laughs> whitey whitey comebacks. I think he means witty <laughs> comebacks. <laughs> or a turn on. Uh, or a, or a turn on Rolo. What's wrong with me? Okay, Nothing. thank you. Eugene. Nothing eyes. is wrong with you. It's the uh, eyes. Kenty Silver Sable's masculinity is a deal breaker to a high value man. Uh -oh. Miami Bambi is entering no man's land. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, great show because because you because you're 37. You're 37. Yeah, that's what I'm you're saying. Yes, you're 37. Yeah. Uh, really 29. Yeah, Travis. Uh, Travis Brown, uh, marketing consultants. Twenty dollars. That's, that's not what that's your dentist says. That's our friend, says. Travis Brown. We love you. Oh, okay, great show, guys. Very interesting. Oh, cool. But I'm I'm mad. G got in an accident and didn't call me. Hashtag D. <laughs> My best friend's the attorney. If not, I would have called you. Duh. Is that a guy? No, she's a girl. Oh, that's a girl? Okay. Oh, uh, no, Michael no, Travis Graham? is a guy. No, oh. Travis Brown is a guy. Oh, he's like, he's well, friends with both Travis of us. No, okay. But my girl, as the attorney, why I didn't call you, Travis? Duh. Gotcha. Travis uh, is feeling some type Mike, of way. Yeah, probably. Uh, uh, Michael Graham, $10. Oh, no shade, but these... Listen now. to this. Listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, Michael Graham. Uh, listen to this. No this shade, but these women are below average looks-wise, old-looking, and overweight. Oh, damn. Let's see his picture. The Vegas MDW may be smashing, but that's about it. White material? Come on. What do you have to say about that? What do you guys got to say back to that? The only hate that I got from the last show were just like obese, ugly, just like clear losers that were just speaking a mantra at me. Some, some guy told me Come I was gonna be here. Like, really? You think I'm all right, they're shooting back. All right, uh, Aman Sharma, I'd Appreciate be interested. the ten dollars super chat. I'd be interested to see the ladies' reactions to a few Donovan interpretation of womanese. We will do that as well. That's excellent. We'll take some phrases and translate them. Let's do it. The ladies, see what they say. Uh, James Burnett, fourteen ninety nine. Why is Karen such a fighter? Uh, because Karen's entitled. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you guys saw. Because last Karen's time. a boss. Thank you. <laughs> Went to the U.S. from New Zealand years ago, and you chicks got our something else. Haha. -ha, get them, Don. Damage. Thank you very That's much. That's my porn star New name. Zealand. 
Um, and then uh, done damage. Okay, yeah. we're caught up. Um, so Myron, could you? Or, are you three inches. I'll do, I'll, three I'll inches. do that then. I think we had another. Do we have another super chat question that we had to? Nah. Uh, uh, no. Uh, somebody just said the uh, Silver we, Sable show is going places. Go ahead, Aaron. Well, and and Myron, well, okay, Myron, it's going to require what participation. It's going to require. What was that? Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm saying didn't we have questions at the at the higher tiers too? No. no. Okay. Okay. All right. A lot going on, baby. All right. If I might have the Go field, on. then. Okay. This is this is going to require something very, very difficult. Us. Wait. Did the ladies have a question for us, though? I think it was their turn. Yeah. They're. I, I have a question. Go shoot. What no. do you gentlemen bring to the table that oh, would shit. really somehow entice us, and especially me and my entitlement over oh, here? Shit. Okay. That's going to wow me. That's yeah. going to make me say yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm an upper six figure earner. I don't take shit. You got to know how you got me requiring you to cook. That's going to benefit you. Okay. If I'm happy, you're happy. Number four, I offer employment. If you're with me, you have a job. You understand? Uh, that's, uh, uh, you're never going to have to worry about money. Uh, you get to travel, go places. Uh, you get to see and do things that you've, uh, actually, I should just have Dev call the show, but she's asleep right now. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, that's what I bring to the tables. And guys, that's, lady, that's priceless. That's a lot. I just want to throw that out there for the average man watching this show. You probably don't have that much to offer. So before you send me hate messages, please keep that in mind. thank you. Oh, thank you. hold on, thank real you. quick. Here's something else I have to offer. I will give you 38 seconds of ecstasy with my three inch destroyer. Boom, baby. Woo! You know, in love, we'll take that weird 38 seconds. It's probably two inches. It'll real, make us feel like it's 38 minutes you and 38 it? feet. I'll, long. Make, I'll make it. Yeah, 30. Dude, we're speaking the same language. Yeah. Hey. Okay, Aaron. I'm wealthy. I have no debt. I do not value things. I know exactly what's important in life, and that's the love and respect of other human beings, not necessarily romantic or sexual love, but familial love and, and brotherly love. Um, I am in excellent physical shape. I can climb mountains, run long distances. I can more than bench press my own weight. Woo. Uh, I have interesting hobbies that are at least interesting to me anyway, ranging from everything from lap dairy, which is rock cutting and polishing. To hey, what's your number, Aaron? Running. What's your number, man? Well, we'll get help. <laughs> <later>. <laughs> like it, he owns later. three houses. <laughs> He's no, being I don't, modest. No, no, no. I don't know. I have no debt. Uh, what else? I, I don't answer to anyone. And I've been self-employed completely for 10 years. Uh, and I am probably one of the more intelligent and unique people that you will ever meet. And if we ever were to talk, you will never be bored. By so, the way, his company is called Asshole right, Consulting. Too, yeah. Are you going to cheat on us, though? Yes, probably. <laughs> yeah. Because I, 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 oh, oh, I, I I'm, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot one other thing. Uh, I used to instruct ballroom dancing for 14 years. I'm this, not oh, yeah. Ballroom oh, dancing. yeah. The most interesting man in the world. Smooth. You guys remember those commercials? That's this guy right here. That's him. Smart and smooth. It's, it's over. over. I know how all your hair, man. Yeah, yeah. That it's means your kids will have all their hair. He's huh? probably richer than everyone here on the panel. Is that Rolo? And I'm not fresh. That's the other advantage. No, I'm kidding. Oh, and I'm a coin collector. I collect coins. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and I own noon balances and barbecue Yay! on Collecting the weekends. Coins. <laughs> okay, Rolo Tomasi. This is going to be interesting. This will be, very this will be a, drop, uh, a mic drop. Yes. Your life will never be boring with me. That's the I, th I think that's probably the number one thing. There you it will, is. You will ne <laughs> there will never be a day where you go, damn. I'm. I'm what are we gonna do today? Um, I think it's. I, I think it's important for guys, and just like in general, I think it's important for guys to uh, cultivate a lot of skills and a lot of talents. Um, be in good shape, right? And I'm. I'm, I'm trying to think in general terms because we're being specific here, but like. Um, I think women tend to look for certain, like women have a, a, a checklist. Like we were talking last night about the, you know, the checklist and Royce's called this the uh, 436 point bullet point checklist. You got to be good. Oh, looking. Yeah. Got to have your shit together. You got to like six, feet, say, tall, six, oh, six feet tall. Yeah. yeah uh, v taper and stuff for my age. I'm, I'm definitely in the top percentile for my, for my physique anyways. Uh, when I'm you're not, when you're looking, well, I mean, think about it this way. Uh, what is it? The uh, seventy-five percent of the American population is overweight right now, and a good third, like thirty-three percent, I think, is morbidly obese. Yeah. So yeah. I got that right there, and that's what I tell guys all the time. I said, you know what? You want to put yourself into like the next level? Go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Get it. That's get it. in shape. That's it. Really. Agreed. That, we take that, our that will push that, and, and women, women too. Get in the gym. That will put if you even if you're normal weight, you've already put yourself up Dude, above seventy five percent of the do. population. So you've got that going right there. 
I got my shit together. I'm a creative person. I make a, I've made a, a lot of money for myself. I'm, I'm musically inclined. I'm artistically inclined. Uh, you will have very creative babies. You will have very sexy sons with me. Uh, you know, uh, wow. lots of things. To, I, yes, creative, greyhounds. Greyhounds. Yes. Yeah, I, I love animals. I'm very good with animals. Um, I, mean, plus. I can keep. I mean, I can keep rattling on, and gloss myself all day long. But it's it's like what are the general things that that you know women are looking for? I think when we have these conversations, it's like what do you have to do as the <laughs> single guy to get. To get here, I've been married for twenty five years, so it's like yeah. I can say, "Well, well, my wife's." So I got nothing on. I either believe of you guys. it. You look when you start speaking, you sound like an interesting guy. So that's all I have to say to the guys yeah, out there. You Before um, you come at us with our your listen, heat, I got oh, nothing on your guys. board. Real yeah, quick, on these guys, uh, I'm an asshole in so all the audience. And, and then, then we're gonna do Myron. Myron, I didn't want to hear you. I'll go. I'll go last. I'll go last. I, I, no, you are last because I want to do the woman east thing. Okay, yeah, no, uh, but no, you're next though. Right now. Okay, so Sydney McTow with Australia Twenty Hours. Big up to Myron Fresh, Donovan Rolo, and Cappy. Solid combo, great revelations for the uninitiated. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Super chat. Chad Max, Silver Sable, and Miami Bambi could definitely get it, period. Okay, Real slide, talk. Her, slide her DMs, Bro, man. What about me? What's going on over here, guys? <laughs> oh, and uh, uh, the other one, too. Yeah. yeah. The tall one. Yeah, the you tall one. I think when, you're hot. No, no, someone, I like tall yo, women. Someone asks what your type in the chat. Oh, yeah. 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 come on. Yeah, there Get you go. S send her a DM, guys. Uh, you got to slide in. Patrick Haggerty, $20. You notice that when these women talk about what they bring to the table outside of sex, none of them mention they would be good mothers and raise good kids. Oh, shit. Is that what you want to hear? I, I honestly felt like that was already a given because I'm a fucking oh, G. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is you, not a given. Have you, you Fresh can, knows my dog. I understand. Great, dogs so, are not uh, people, sweetheart. Okay. If you met my dog. Smiley face. Dogs uh, are people, we need to get the three OGs. Ooh. More of your show on more of your shows, Fresh and Fit. You guys are killing it. Oh, Keep God, creating we'd content. Have to move down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting oh, everyone no. to move down to no. uh, Miami, Florida. I'm out. I'm visit out. me in South I'm Dakota. Move, I'm moving out to the. Uh, yeah, I'm going out to Nevada, man. I got. I'm buying one what? Oh, okay. Telegram. Okay, I and mean, we got one more that I missed. And then uh, Donovan, uh, let's do real quick a quick transition, actually. So, can you take uh, the top, let's say, two or three phrases that women use all the time oh. and break it down and decipher it in front of the ladies and let's see their reaction? Yeah. So when you guys tell guys I haven't been in a relationship in three years, what that means is I've been, look at her, she already knows. I've been fucking random guys for three years. But are there lies? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. So I'll take this because I have not been in a serious relationship in three years and I am not out fucking random dudes. Like I, I can't. How many men have you slept with in the last three years? Disgusting. How many men have you slept with? I've slept with three men in the last three years. <laughs> That's a lie. That no, I, I will take the lie detector test. I am dead serious. Yeah, I got think it right it's nasty. Here. I got one. I think do, it do is disgusting. Yet, like, <laughs> are you guys seeing this? Okay. No. Oh, I can't. Like, no, no, no. For don't, me, don't, you don't have to that. be don't interesting in a lot of things. So mm -hmm. not a lot of guys like, you know. Like, the guys that are talking shit. A lot of guys just throw shit at a wall and wait I, to see what that sticks, I agree you know with. what I yeah, mean? A lot so of guys like, are for angry. me, that I'm not like, oh, yeah, daddy, that did it for me. Thank you for screaming, hey, baby, at me down the street. Okay. Well, Fair what enough. if he screams it from a Lamborghini? That's his and not rented. I don't believe it's his and not rented. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. If I see you in a Lamborghini. He, here's my registration. It's Miami. <laughs> it's Miami. I, I didn't know about people renting Lamborghinis. Oh, so honey. They, they, look, yes. here, no, people, people are straight con I artists see, I here. Like that guy's got a Lamborghini. Yo. Yo, you can rent everything. Yo, Amanda. A house. Amanda. Oh, stop Amanda. the outfits. They rent the bitches. They rent the bitches. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yo, true. Amanda, remember the car we, we talked about? Would you rather a guy that owned the restaurant or Lamborghini? Could you kind of break down a little bit? Like, like <laughs> well, that's easy. Miami yeah, girls. So I, I said I would rather take a, somebody with a restaurant than a Lamborghini because I'm looking for a long term investment, and a car is a decreasing, in, depreciating, a hundred. Uh, you are that's like depreciating talking porn guy. to my ears, right? No, now but an absolutely, that's right? Really that would be really like baby. me saying people asset. should marry me just because I'm hot and 31. Like, yeah, well, wait, fucking 20 years. Like, you know what I mean? Like throwing that out there. But what I said is in Miami girls are going to take the car. Yes. They're going to take the car because Facts. they've been raised in a certain mentality of what happened to your finger. I ripped off an entire nail doing like to literally opening a drawer. I just come in hot with everything. So okay. I opened a drawer and passed out and ruined an entire day. So you're going to tell us what really happened off the air. That's right? literally what happened. I wish <laughs> it was something cooler. That's what happened. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, what are your, what is uh, G your reaction to that? Um, I've been single for what? Three years, right? I've been single for three years. Translation. 
Yeah. I've been single for two months. Oh, okay. And I just got out of a five year relationship. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Right. I don't know. Okay, so they lie about oh that make you lie about your age and you lie how long. See you the reason say, okay, why girls sense. no <laughs> well here's the thing the reason why the reason why girls say this is because and this doesn't mean you're bad people this is why it, it like like it women, doesn't mean he's talking about you he's talking yeah. about no I'm I'm absolutely yes. talking about, about you because okay. yes of course them. like the, all women are like that all men are like that I think that's obvious we like we like shapely youthful women and you like guys that are tall and all that good stuff but here's the deal that doesn't make you terrible people. You don't if, if especially if you're on a date with a guy, you don't you're not going to tell a guy. Well, even though I haven't been in a relationship in two years, I have fucked 20 guys in two years because you want him to like you. And you guys inherently know that a woman who gets around is unattractive for a long term relationship. That's why you do this. But that may not be the thing. standard, but that doesn't mean it's everybody. And truly, like and I've definitely had one not of my you. male friends definitely bring not this you, up though, to right? me that he told me that he was concerned for me that I'm not in a serious relationship oh, because guys are going to assume that I've been ran through. That was his literal statement. Well, most so which of is the, exactly what you're saying, right? Well, People, men assume that if you're attractive and you can sleep with a lot of guys that you're going to say yes. And what what's the lie there? Well, Why would I say yes? I'm attracted to you. And Why am I going to say yes to that many people? Like, ew. And so sleeping around is gross to you? It's icky? Yes. I don't yeah. want your freaking community dick. Take your <laughs> HIV ass I'm not talking outside. about guys. I'm talking well, about y'all. Welcome to Miami. It has the highest new this HIV so infection rate in America. Miami, listen, listen. I know Miami is unique in a lot of ways, but the sexual You can market, look that up. That's a fact. I, I, I so believe if you, you want to go out there I and slam you. it out the park, good for you. But we're, I we're, way, we're way off topic. We're talking about y'all. You guys can ask us all the questions you want here in a little bit. Miami is different in a lot of ways, but men and women, we're all motivated by we're all motivated by the same things. The shit that happens here is the same shit that happens out in New York, out in LA, out in Vegas, down in Houston. That's just how it is. I understand that and you guys have to understand that guys like us understand we you want us to see you in the best possible light. Wait, but I There's, got something opposite well, to say of well, what they're as saying. As soon as I finish, then you can talk. Girls, you guys want to see us in the same light, right? Like this. you want us to see you in the best possible light. There's no reason for you to tell us that, oh, I fucked 30 guys in the last 30 months. No, because we're going to be like, ah, STDs and blah, 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 blah. So you try to put your best foot forward. You telling us that you've slept with a bunch of guys is like telling you I've got 12 bucks in my bank account right now. But so just okay, because no. you're single means you're sleeping with people like you have with to girls. Sleep? Most girls, if they're with most women are never not fucking ergo. I haven't been in a relationship in three years. Translation. I've been fucking random guys yep. for three years. Yep. Okay. Uh, so if ahead. anybody would let me talk here. Yeah, before, go ahead. Go because ahead. Go ahead. Everybody here seems to be like going out their thing and I can't get a word in. I have opposite. Feelings, Wait a minute. Man. Just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I was about to be like, you, can, I mean, go can, ahead. Can, can, can you talk? No, I'm fucking with you. Go, 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 can you go, talk go, into go. the mic though? Just talk into the mic. There you go. Mike is in front of me. Okay. Don't drop the mic. So anyways, it's it's different with me. It's like my friends, I'm a serial dater. So I'm dating all the time. So if you ask me if I've been in a relationship in the past three years, I'm going to tell you no. But you have to be more in debt with what you're asking me. You know, if you're going to ask me about being in a relationship, I'm going to tell you no. But have I been dating? And, you know, have I been fucking around for three years? Yes. You know, and like guys don't like to hear that. But it's the truth. You know? Womanese Volume I, 4 drops on Friday at noon. You heard it from, straight from the horse's mouth. No, at least you're honest, be, though. Because yeah, most women try, try to hide it. But it's going to be, no, I, I mean, is it, it, guys, there's let, let them talk, and there's guys, me. Guys, like, talk. There's, there's complete, no, I mean, that's all I got to say. That's like, it? That's, okay. that's it. So you're that's just, all you're I got to say. Okay, all right. Just being honest. So you're different and you're different. I don't think everybody's the same, no. I got it. Okay, you're right about that. I got a question. I got to ask my basics here, so. You are 31, I'm 31 and you haven't dated like seriously in three years. The last like long term relationship you had was when you were 29. So the I mean, the last serious relationship that I was in. Yes. OK, so between the ages of 29 and 31, you haven't dated anybody. I mean, I have dated for short periods of time, but uh -oh. I, I would say that uh, when you ask us if we have been in a relationship, we automatically assume a long term. I'm sorry. Let me clarify. No, no. Listen, let me clarify. Um, when a woman proactively tells a man, hey, by the way, I haven't been in a relationship in three years. It's almost like she's virtue signaling. So mm -hmm. never ask a woman. So how long was your last relationship? That's no, I, well, no, well, the, I just want to what, what I'm getting at is this. All, do you find it difficult to find like the right guy at 31 years old now? Is that it? Why? Uh, why do you suppose it is that you have been 
let's just say single for the last the well two, two, again it's a loaded question years. because i haven't been in a serious relationship so in three you, you years said so you yes three lovers in the last three years yeah so, so but exactly. you haven't like lived with them or, or yeah we weren't planning on having or, babies you know what? what i mean like that I wasn't obviously shut up <laughs> 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 that wasn't a thing um, you like having your hair pulled don't you i mean a little yes. bit. please continue a little bit i'm an exciting person so that you are that i believe so what I was going to say is like, so do you, why do you suppose that is? Why do you I'm think a, that you've been? Because having, there's a lot easier women in this world. And if all men want are holes and a pretty girl, that's going to cook them a sandwich. You so, can definitely find an easier boom, girl baby. than me. That's what absolutely. it is. So would that's you what say, it is. Absolutely. Would you say that? Between, you said you can cook, right? Would all you right. say that between the ages of 29 and 31, which is the last three years, would you say that you have become let's say less competitive in the intrasexual marketplace, like with 22 year olds and 23 year olds. Yes. If that's what you're looking for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm not as nice as them. I know a lot more and I'll tear you apart. So that's attractive. I was going to say, do you think I that, you so do you think right that that's now. what, do you think that like the, uh, we just asked this a minute ago, do you think the ideal guy that you want to get with is attracted to that? So, but the question that I or have is he, attracted, return, is he attracted to the 23 year old and I, and I get that. But again, how is that my ideal mate? If they're attracted to a 22 year old dumb girl who knows nothing about life. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Like, so here's the competition hey, my name part is I was Heather. talking about. I just had a great time. It's Michaela. Michaela. It's Michaela. Like, we're not the same. You know what I'm saying? So, so I get it. And if that's what a man wants, you're right. They're not going to choose me. But also in the same sentence, that's not what I want. I don't want a man that is going to be distracted by some 22 year old dumbass who has nothing to offer except you're cute and I can do a TikTok dance. Do you think that that will hey, be TikTok a TikTok dances are to underrated. You. you better watch your mouth. Maybe it won't, but I would mm -hmm. rather be alone and honestly die no, you alone. No, you I That's would bullshit. rather die no, alone wouldn't. with no, my wouldn't. money than get with a guy who's just going to cheat on me and probably leave me in 10, 15 years. Anyway. Have you ever heard the term single plus hot equals crazy? I'm definitely a little bit crazy. I'm yeah. gonna admit to that. That's, uh, I'm that, gonna that's what I mean. That. It's like a, after a certain age, if the girl still looks really good, and then she's 33, 34, and she's not 23 anymore, she's 33 now. What happens is during the during the period between 29 and 31 is what I call the epiphany phase. You sort of come into this idea that you're not going to be able to okay. compete at the same level that you used to be because you used to be that dumb 23 year old girl that you're just talking. I about was right never. Now. I've oh, always gosh. been very similar. You to are this. just the exception to all the rules, aren't you? I, you I are not really the same person am. you were 10 years ago. No, I'm not, but I'm definitely not like the 22 year olds you're going to meet in Miami. Trust me, I meet them. Let me every interrupt day. here. Like, shout out to you guys because we're really bring in the heat and you guys have remained cool and uh, this can't be easy for you and I'm I like I say this sincerely it takes a lot of balls to come in here and talk to us three because this is what we do and you guys are you guys are being good sports about it so shout out to you guys there you go hey Rolo um uh, well, well Rolo wasn't done yeah, yeah. No, I was, no, did you have a question well no I just it just sounds like everything comes down to age you're yeah, but then you told hey, us you that guys have place. only fans because they you're want a, a connection. Man. You have a ring. They right? want a connection. How long but have you been married? Well, but then so you're down clearly down to the not married to a 22 year old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that made no sense. Of course well, he's got no, married to a 22 year old. But his, whole, his whole point was like, <laughs> here we go. what did she got to bring to the table? She's like getting old. So it's like, mm -hmm. okay. But you clearly married somebody that wasn't young. You're still married for Wait a minute. How old are you, Rolo? How old am I? 52. You're 52. He's married for 25 years. He married a woman in his 20s. All mm -hmm. right. But he didn't in her get, 20s. He didn't mm -hmm. get rid of her. No. He and still what, has her. Uh, uh, and what kept her? Well, not her age. No. no well, okay. well, of course yes, not. But, <laughs> okay. So here's so she turns let's, 22 so every day. We got in this conversation yesterday, too. So we, statistically, women tend to look for men that are three to seven years older than they are because Honestly, on some level of consciousness, women understand that it takes longer for a man to mature into the things that make him the most maximally attractive. So the guy that you're probably looking for is and probably you know, three to five years, somewhere around there, because it takes when I talk to guys about like peak sexual market value uh, ages for men, it's usually right around their mid 30s because it takes longer for them to get to that point where they're still in good shape and they still look good. But maybe they made they made partner in the law team on the law firm or they're now they're a surgeon instead of, you know, it takes them longer to get to where they're at to make them the most attractive for the for the criteria that women have for men. 
So when you're looking for a guy, it's usually the guy who's already made. You, you can't, because if you're not and the guy's younger and he's not already made, you're taking a risk. You're taking a chance because just what you guys just said is that when you're 23 years old and the, and those are the girls that are, are generating the most attention, they're at the top of their game, but one, but it, it drops off right after 23 and it, and it plummets at that point where guys are on their ascension when it's, when it's 33, 34, 35. 36 and let me say this quickly. It's not wrong for a woman to want a man who's already made. A lot yeah. of guys say, I want a woman I can build with. If you need a woman to build with, then you're not a whole man. That's just the way that goes. If you, it, it, Don't feel bad about going after a guy who's already made it. There's nothing wrong with that. If it, Listen, if you'd rather date the lawyer with his own private practice than the kid in law school, more power to you. This is why we prefer younger women like you guys prefer guys with more resources. It's the same thing. Real right. quick, real quick. This is an excellent discussion, but we got Mike C with a $100 Super Chat. Uh, looking forward to the conference. I'm a patron, fresh and fit. Can't wait for the real estate podcast the masculine yes, excellence. Guys, Las Vegas. i'm in the process right now of closing no, on a house no i'm gonna take you guys exactly through how i found a deal got the cash on cash shout out to uh aaron clary for helping me out with that yep. and uh john from bulldog mindset two guys that i you know had, uh re seeked out counseling from and they helped me with this uh, property um and then it says here uh cappy bachelor pad economics arrives on friday excellent that, i recommend Thank that you. book for everybody rollo book two is my favorite shout out to rollo tomasi and shouts from the city formerly known as new york city and uh, yeah, man, thank you, Mike C. And then we got uh, do, 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 Sam Ishi. Oh, well, okay, I'll read this one when uh, when Amanda gets back. But okay, okay. go ahead, continue real, on, guys. Uh, Cappy, real quick. Oh, thought no thoughts on no e girls. Uh, you know, eh, I, no I don't what know means. what the hell that means. I think, I think he means like girls. Eh, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clarify that question. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, Cappy, hmm. I want you to start your uh, rant about oh. the big, the beautiful, and the bold. The big, the beautiful, like the soap opera. Big girls. Oh no, big girls. <laughs> but they well, already well, agree. Well, they big and beautiful. Don't Rolo, you know? Did you finish though? Did you finish Rolo? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. I, I, there's there's no rant on account that they all agree and they seem to be well they don't seem to be they are living in reality. Men don't like fat chicks and they understand that being remaining physically attractive to their spouse or significant other is uh, not only preferable but a requirement. So uh, as opposed to last night where they're just like, well, I know this one. It's like, dude. Do you believe fat chicks are hot? Yes or no? And I think everyone here is more base than that. So I don't, I don't really have a rant to say because there's no need for a rant. Do you agree? They did. They I do all, agree yeah. with him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying there's no oh. big pretty girls. I'm just saying like maybe some men have like a fetish towards it. but like, Statistical anomaly. Yeah, but mm -hmm. most men want a petite woman. We want to want to fuck them. Yes. Exactly. I also if, think there's a difference between like being like letting go of yourself and being like obese and fat and being thick because I feel like a lot of men thick like, is fat. Not really. Cause yes, you can really. have a fat ass and you can have some tits. And well, you can have a fat ass you, and still so. be fat, sweetie. Like, okay, but there's a difference. No, there's not. There is though. Explain. You, you just got to talk into the mic when you explain, please. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm not, I just want, I want the people to hear you. I know. Yeah. No, I'm I'm like, I like thick girls, but go ahead. No, but what I'm saying is that there is like obese women and yes, they're going to have tits and they're going to have an ass, but it's not the same tits and ass that like an actual fit girl is going to have because it's going to be like you can be thick and work out your ass and have like a nice perky ass and some nice tits. But okay. being fat is like, I mean, it's a choice. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Okay. All right. Fresh, I, mean, I, I, I did have. So, okay, I'm sorry. Continue. Go, no, no, no. That's go, go. I like how she I, said no, fat no, ass. This is going to require participation of everyone uh, because they are our guests. And we keep interrupting them. Yes. And I don't know how long you're going to keep getting girls to come on the show here. <laughs> and I don't know why you bring them on if we're not going to let them speak. So no man is allowed to talk while I'm asking my questions. They are only allowed to speak. No ad hominem, funny, inter nothing. I only want to hear from them. He's talking to me, guys. Right. Well. Uh, me. I got monologuing. I'm sorry. And so then, then, uh, and we'll just go wonder. I have three questions, right? And this is too advanced for my own intellectual curiosity as well as the listening audience. So we actually move towards some general point here. All right. Mm -hmm. Three questions. Do you want to get married? Question number two, where is that priority in your life? Is it below career, below education? Number one, number five, where kids, dogs, God, Jesus, Vishnu, I don't know, wherever. And then um, why aren't you married now? <laughs> all right, so let's start with Sorry. Adriana. Chris, kill all the other mics except for Aaron's. Go ahead. So the first question is, do you want to get married? 
Absolutely. Okay. Where is it ranked priority wise in your life right now? As of now, it is probably ranked the lowest out of everything in my life right like now. Like even getting toilet paper? I mean, I'm trying to get a, a, a <laughs> okay, gauge. Okay, yeah. So, I, I mean, so, no, I mean like a when toilet paper. When the major issue, yeah, yeah. is this what you're saying? Explain so, what's above it, I guess. I mean, there's a lot of other things that go below it. Like I, right now I'm in school. I'm okay. in school. I'm about to graduate in May with my um, degree in, in hospitality management. So that is above anything else. Okay. Getting to my career and getting into my career after you know this, because right now I'm not I'm not working. I'm working in my career field, but it's it's not relevant to what I want to do. I want to work with hotels and everything. Right now I'm in the food and beverage industry. <clears throat> um, could I could more. I uh, could I succinct it for you? Tell me. Bring it down. It's Mazel's hierarchy of needs, and you need to have food, clothing, and shelter before you start thinking of more lofty things you'd like to have your career. I need to have I need to be able to have time for men right. and okay. relationships in general before I can even think about marriage and all those things. And right now I don't even have time for relationships. Right. I have time for myself, my career, and um I mean just anything. I I just I I need to have um certain things. So yeah, marriage right now is probably at the bottom of my list. The bottom of the list. Okay. And, because yeah. you're busy going to school, working, studying Absolutely. and everything else. Yeah. Just, okay. Okay. And then, um, and that's why you're not married now is because you're busy working on exactly. establishing yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm not rushing into things too, cause I'm 29 and I feel like I need to take my time with things. So, okay. and yeah, that's, All that's, right. what, that's where it's at right now. Uh, and then Amanda, all right. Do you want to get married? I would like to get married if I find the right person. Okay. Where is it ranked in your life priorities right it now? It is, I mean, probably in the middle of my priorities, like me, my dog, my career definitely come first. And that's a hundred percent why I'm not married. Um, I've dated people that, I mean, were willing to have a more serious relationship with me, but sometimes when those ideas were presented to me, it made me realize there were big problems in the relationship that wouldn't work long term. Okay. Um, that's why you're not married. I guess I only really have two questions because the ranking will explain why people aren't married now. All right. And then, uh, G 32 years old, G with good teeth. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get married? I do. Yes. Where is it ranked right now in your life priority? Um, it's up there if I find the right person. Okay. Is it the number one priority or is it I a career? I mean, you're established in an MBA and a professional. Yeah. I mean, my career, I know how to get money. So regardless, I'm a survivor. I, I will get money. Um, I believe that if I'm with mm -hmm. a male, he will also have money. So I don't think money is going to be an issue. It would just be more money between both of us. Okay. Um, but I want a happy marriage. And I want both of us to be happy. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't, th I don't think some, someone's looking for a miserable marriage. Right. Uh, but I don't there think is a lot of miserable marriages, and there is a lot right. of pressure on people, especially when you get to a certain age. Is like, what is wrong with you? You're not married, and it's just like, eh. no. And I and I and, and that's, I understand that, but you would say that's probably your. Well, you you also have all the other goals, dreams, ambitions as well, but it probably is the foremost. Right. challenge you're facing right now because you have to seem to have everything else squared away. Right. Okay. So that's, that would be roughly priority. Number one. My, my priority is me mm -hmm. and being happy with me and like fixing, um, the things that I need to fix within me from, I, like I just said, I got out of a five year relationship. Right, right. I know that there's things that I need to heal from before I can even give myself to another person, right. but I am open to like, I've seen people like get out of relationships and meet somebody and then they're married for like 40 years. Sure. So sure. I'm open to it. But yes, I do want to get married. It is a priority for me to find somebody and build with them. Okay. So. Now, and this is where the hard part comes in. Mm -hmm. And I just said, do you know why men are attracted to women? Yes. Why? Because they are sexual. <laughs> what? Is the problem then that most of you face or are approaching it, especially you because you're <clears throat> 32? I don't know. Tell me. You're getting old. Well, I, I can't do nothing about that. I, no, no. I, I, I know that. I know. Lying, I, but, but here's. And you here's, believe it. No, no. Well, okay. I believe you're 30. You could tell me you're 32 all the time. But 
my point is not just for you guys, but for any young ladies that happen to be listening or just for academic, philosophical and above all else, important discussion. You do know the number one reason men are chasing after you is going away with time. All right. And you're 29, correct? What were you doing for 11 years of adulthood that now it's taking over a decade to get established? Unless you came from like a, a, a horrific background or like, you know, a disadvantaged background or your parents abandoned you or something like that. Which, but it, and I understand there's always a wandering in a desert. But the larger point to everyone here is tickety talk, tickety F and talk. You're 30 plus bar you, of course, is how important is marriage and falling in love to you where dogs are more important this and how much time do you think you have? I'm trying to take a very practical, unfortunately, economic and 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 uh, utilitarian approach to this. And I'm I'm morbidly fascinated with young women today and what their expectations morbidly. of life. Uh, yeah, well, morbidly because it will kill me in the end. <laughs> <laughs> but how did you get to this point? You're all very attractive. You are going into a profession. You are. I'm just going to assume you're street smarter. Than, you no, pull, she's street yeah. smarter than fuck. I wouldn't worry about her. And you have an MBA and you're a professional as well. You're gorgeous. You get nice cans too. And a nice <laughs> ass. All right. How in fuck's name did you not find a guy by now that was quality? I got married at 20. Okay. So you got married young. All right. How long did that set you back? <laughs> the trauma or? No, I mean, uh, how long were you married? Like, when did you get divorced? Um, 26. Okay. Oh, so, wow. so that was. According to you, six, uh, 16 years ago, maybe 18 more with the real math. But <laughs> or creative I math. I could have lied to you guys. I, but, it, but you understand Woman my is life. So, so is there just – and here's a final question I have for you. And this I completely understand with the 80-20 rule, not to mention we've seen millennial boys. Is the quality of men just that much shit you can't find yes. anything? Yes. Okay. And you yes. gotta date outside of Miami. And you gotta accept bullshit you don't want to ex yeah. accept. When I was twenty five, what did you think that thirty two year old men had to offer? Like at twenty five, I had more to offer as a woman than most men that I know. Mm -hmm. I still have more to offer as a woman than most men. Like I what? Know. Money. I have an established life. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm interesting. Let, I can let, continue. Let me ask. <laughs> What percent of the men have you dated would be marriage material in your eyes, whether it panned out or not? I mean, it, I don't date people pointlessly. So for right. me, like if I never saw a future with you, I wouldn't date you. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just for me. It, again, I've so my mom has been married and divorced four times. My father was in a divorce settlement for 10 years. Jeez. Right. So I know the opposite we'll side of Let's this. Talk later. No, but there's just more of like, hey. I know the downside. I don't want to go through all that. Why? When I can just make my own money. Like, and also like, Hey, like it gets tiring trying to date. Like what, how am I supposed to meet men? Most men aren't going to talk to me at work. I'm not going to talk to you at work. I don't want to deal with that. What? So that's dating apps and it gets exhausting. Like what? there's times I'm just like, this is tiring. You know what I mean? So it's like the quality of guys that are coming at you. There's so many that you just get exhausted trying to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. What are what are the main disqualifiers of the men? They live at home. They don't make enough money. They're broke. fat. They're broke. They're well, not I mean, providers. They're not providers. Okay. They're, they just, they're not um, decisive people. Most men today are big mama's boys that their mommy clearly love them too much and they think they're very special. <laughs> but they're not. You you know what I mean? Like they, laws of they, they're, 14, you're they're, not special. They're 40. They make 80 grand a year. They're not interesting. They they play Call of Duty. Like <laughs> that's cool, bro. I'm sorry. Like, say that wait, again. You you know my they play Call of Duty. <laughs> they're Did 40. You hear that? They're mama's video boys. games. <laughs> yeah, you're playing video, video games. games. Like talking shit to your friends. Like uh, like the things I've heard them say on video games. I was just like embarrassed. Like I'm like God. If I had never slept with you before, I'd never sleep with you again. Um, but right. So they're not bringing that much to the table for me uh, and for me to be like, this is the person make the choice. Right. It's like, you're like, am I going to settle? Right. Like nobody, no woman wants to settle in life. I don't want to end up with somebody that's, you know, living at home with their mom, no ambition. No. You're not that great. You know, you get what I'm saying, right? right. Like no, it's I just understand. very like, 
And then the few men in this world that are great think they're so great that they deserve everything. We do deserve everything. Yes. Well, so do I. You're goddamn right. right. So I, I feel like the same argument that men have apply to women, regardless of how you want to speak that our minds are different. If I'm in the top 1% of women, I'm allowed to have expectations. Are you though? I think in that I am. In the top 1% of women? Yes. We're letting them speak. Raise up your left hand, please, for me. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, that the only other follow up I would have then is what because the eyes, situation is <laughs> dire, uh, apparently because there are no quality men or, or at least very few. What measures have you guys taken? Do you date outside of Miami? Do you are you willing to fly to Dallas to meet someone? Are you willing to <clears throat> date someone in your particular well someone who's shorter than five ten? I mean what. What measures are you because if getting married is an important or just finding someone is an important part of your life, but it's apparently statistically a hurdle, or at least you're not having much luck in fishing in this pond, what are you doing to your strategy to improve your chances? So I feel like, especially in my case, because I'm 29, like I have dated outside of my age range. Okay. So I've dated people who are younger and older and, um, I dated a guy recently that was 40. And um, I Do mean, people live that long. Oh my God. I Tell us know. about it. Yeah, I was, Tell us about it. It was hip it, replacement. It was, like, it was great. But the thing is, when <laughs> you're, Logan's when I, when I date older, I would assume that, you know, you'd be more mature, especially at 40. You know, I was like, yeah, okay, those guys you're just be, now, no, know. dude, you guys are all the same. Like, every, it doesn't matter what <laughs> age you are. Y'all still it. do the same shit. Like, yeah. it's yeah. crazy. Like, do you guys play ball? I do. You do. Call of Duty. Yeah, but not like every day. This man played Call of Duty while I was in his house. Like when I was there, like he he, he was would, 40 years he old would, and played Call of he Duty. He would pick he would pick having bad. sex. Oh. And that's and that's real bad because, you know, I throw it down, but like he would throw he would literally pick playing Call of Duty over intimate shit. And it was So you like, picked the wrong guy. I picked the wrong fucking guy okay. apparently. And I've dated younger, 38. Same shit. Not the same shit. He wouldn't pick that over sex. But like there was He played Mario thing. Brothers. <laughs> what? Hey, he there's nothing Mario wrong with Brothers. Mario Brothers, Aaron. No, and the thing is, like, you really you, you really out of this. you have to like really know what you're looking for in life. Because when I was dating older and younger, I really wasn't I didn't have my priorities straight. And then when I started dating, you know, these older guys, I started to realize the things that I really needed mm -hmm. and the the things that they weren't providing for me. And it was just like it it started all aligning and I started I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I had to be the bad person. I was breaking up with people and I know how much that fucking sucks, but you have to do that. You have exactly. to no it's very you yeah no I, I, absolutely and it, right. and it really sucks. And like I have so many friends that are having to do this as well when they when they are, you know, in the dating world. And this is what I'm doing because I it's it's hard to settle here in Miami. It's just it's it's really well. Hard. That's what I was saying. Do any of you go outside of Dade County or whatever Broward yeah, County? Are where do are we? You? How how? Well, there's doing? things called planes. Oh, I, could, I, I am dating Liz in California. Hold on, so. hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, roll. On a second, dude. We've right. all been all over the country. The last time I saw you was in Nevada. Oh, I saw I'm you in New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, I was up in Detroit last week. I'll be in Phoenix in two weeks. Where else did I go? I went like, to Miami this morning. Yeah, oh, like I mean, guys, <laughs> guys, real quick, and then Rolo's gonna go next. Uh, we got a super chat from Sam Boda. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, Sam. Yeah. Sam. So uh, I can read. It. I, I can read it here. Uh, Chris, could you bring it up? No, I'm right. uh, I got it. I got it. Sam B. Uh, okay, so, oh man, uh, I got it right here, and we're gonna we're gonna get right back into the discussion, guys. All right, yeah, we're gonna get right back into the discussion, guys. Time. So, okay, Sam Bada, shout out to Sam Bada. Uh, he left the super chat. Uh, uh, where is it here? Do they know? Okay, uh, do they know they're sitting with the man Rolex Masi that's caused millions of guys to transform into men? Suicide rate men to women is five to one. Thousands of men have given their testimonies to Rolos Masi, stopping their suicide because of his 20 years of writing. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I, I did I did tell them Appreciate that it. a little bit earlier. Thank I did. You, Sam. Um, but thank you for the super chat. And then uh, what else do we have here? Um, <laughs> okay, I'll read through these real quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> Dara Sumkai, $50 uh, super chat. They all talk about wanting to get married, but would they be willing to fight for equalized rights when it ends and not all on the man? Laws uh -oh. heavily favor the women. Don't worry. Uh, I think uh, Aaron's getting there. Peter Delary, $10. Hey, just wanted to give a shout out to the book of numbers. Read that yesterday. Had me rolling 10 out of 10. 
Kenty, well, according to Silver Sable, the man sleeps in the doghouse and the dog sleeps with her. Uh, hashtag film <laughs> match. Okay. You know. Tom A, Tom A, uh, the bittersweet truth of life is that is the realization that we have limited time, resources, and life force. Men and women have different timelines due to biology. We all have equal opportunity, yet the yet the outcomes. Uh, choose wisely. Mexi Mike, uh, $10 super chat. Appreciate Cappy trying to help and genuinely understand. We all know why they elected to forego marriage for excitement and easy schooner. None of them, Cinderella and Prince Charming ain't putting a ring on it. Okay, Matasuke, $20. They are speaking facts. A lot of guys are slacking and, and being out co uh, competed yeah. in the provider department and the manhood department. Too much PS4. He agrees with you, Amanda. Yeah. Uh, that's why we uh, need to be listening to men like Aaron, Aaron Rolo, and Donovan. Uh, Lucine Klein, uh, ladies, define the kind of man you would settle for age, different salary. They're get, he's getting there, Aaron. Uh, he's getting there. And then Rolo Damas said it. Diminishing returns again and again. Myron, get the dog bark sound bite. KS needs to join the three OGs on this show. For real. Great show all the way from Australia. Thank you very much. Um, Aaron, go ahead and continue as you Wait, want. no, no, quick. I gotta add no, something no. here. What, what I gotta that? add something here. Um, well, this is why this is why this community exists. I agree with you guys a hundred percent that quality men are seriously lacking out there. Yeah. Like they're like, dude, Call of Duty at fucking 40 years old. Like, guys, what the fuck are we doing? This is why this community exists. You're an exception to the rule, man. Like, you're like you're made. You're yeah, you're yeah, you're a made guy. Yeah, you've already got your badge. But this is why we are here. Is we don't just talk shit about bitches ain't shit. No, we are we are telling guys this is what this is what's happening. This is what women are looking for. Mm -hmm. Guys are pissed off. Yeah, but They're, you're allowed to. I'm cheat not on done. Us. I'm not finished, and I'm not talking about that. Guys are super, they're, they're super low quality. They need guidance. Fatherless homes, I'm not going to get all into that. But this is why we exist, right? The fact of the matter is, is somebody's got to show these guys how to really do it. If that means letting them know a woman's true nature, if it pisses you guys off, then so be it. But believe it or not, we're doing this for you guys. I highly disagree. You're doing it for yourselves because men for thousands of years have been submitting their... We're dominant and you have to take a back we're rolling. God forbid you make your own money, then you are not anything we want. And honestly, like sitting here, I'd rather die alone than fucking yeah. ever get married listening to this shit. This is terrible. Statistically, no, you wouldn't, but it's terrible. okay. I would rather. Honestly, no, you what, what, how are you a high value man when I hate my life? Statistically speaking, you're headed there. I'm good with it. I'd rather. Statistically, you're speaking, you're headed there. I'll tell I, I you would this. be so what depressed think, in this type you, of relationship. What do you think the average age of marriage first marriage is in the united states right? but i think oh. it's first marriage is the first biggest marriage. point first Mar marriage what would probably you think the 20 age? okay for for women what do you think the average age of first marriage is? probably 20 you're oh my god way Are you way more. With this? the average age of first marriage in the, in the united states and this is the UN, united states yep. it's actually worse in other countries but in the united states it's 29.8 mm. for men and 28.7 for women mm. so exactly where you guys are at you're 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 the statistical average right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're the statistical <laughs> average right now yeah yeah and then um what was it uh, uh morgan stanley the uh rise of the she economy morgan stanley right now and i believe forbes as well are predicting that by 2030 women who are in the prime demographic for like working age women which is 25 to 44 and so between there, those ages, uh, I believe it is 45, I'm just going to round it off. 45% of women between the ages of 25 and 44 will be single and sexless and well, so, probably not sexless, but single and childless for the rest of their lives. And there are already forecast, like this is Morgan Stanley. They're already forecasting business forecasts to accommodate that because women are the primary consumers in the United States right now. So right now where you guys are at, that's the uh, with every when you guys are saying, well, it's all about age. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but well, it is all about it. We're forgetting an important fact of why women are not married and it's high powered women. It's statistically women that make over one hundred thousand dollars a year are not going to be married. So you are correct. There are more women in the workforce that make that much money. So I would agree, therefore. But again, yeah, what that does that out? say about men? Doesn't How say anything weak about men. How's that working out? Oh, so we're weak because of what? Statistically, most men that make over $100,000 a year marry a woman that makes $40,000 or less. And what, and what does, does that, that have to do with you? weakness? Why you need a mommy. You need somebody to baby you. Well, sweetheart, there's a big gap between $40,000 a year and a mommy. Like, you got to do better than that. How? Why Could are, you live off $40,000 a year in Miami? So I'm not talking about me. I'm talking. I'm talking here? about. I'm talking about you. Like you're talking about. You're talking you, about but, you making but forty thousand. But we're what we're talking about are sweetheart, statistics that have been sweetie, around sweetie, for sweetie, twenty baby girl, years. We don't need your money. That's the point. 
We don't need obviously your you guys money. do. Do you know the statistics of men that are in this prime range that make that much money? Yeah, I, I don't know. You tell you me. Do. But, uh, how, how, you look, tell me. Let's say you made a hundred thousand. Does he have to make a hundred and one? Yep. Is it okay if he makes fifty? Yes, it is okay oh, if he makes God. fifty. Does Where's he the cap? Does he need a mommy? Man? Where's the cap? I need a decent guy that's not a piece of shit. So so. You, <laughs> oh, your, now she's reaching. What your, is your that's that's not, I'm not oh, reaching. That's my up. honest <laughs> opinion. You guys think that like strong women are men and bitches, and I think you're a weak piece of shit. I mean, that's fair. Okay, okay. Woman Ease Volume Four drops uh, this <laughs> Friday at uh, noon Eastern. So, noon Eastern. So, you've already, so what we're what we're establishing here is that your estimate of a guy, whether he has mommy issues or whatever he needs, is based like primarily on finances no on the money that what, he's making i was discussing the statistics you just talked about that hey all these mm -hmm. women were forecasting them to be non-married and sexless mm -hmm. yes but these are statistics that have been around for 20 years uh, that women that make no, over a hundred thousand dollars a year are statistically single yeah so yeah. more women are making that much money so you so, are and how's that working out for them? so does so do you, do you so do, do you think so so do you think that because you make $100,000 a year, that you should be more attractive than a woman who makes $50,000. Let me ask you a question. Do you think I'd rather make $100,000 a year and not get cheated on than sit at home and make $40,000 a year and submit to some lane. great man? Go. Like, apples no. And, apples and oranges. Dude, apples They're not and cars. apples and oranges. Yeah. Apples it's and very oil simple. Changes. Well, it's apples very and oil simple. changes. See, see, what happens is when you get into conversations like, what was I just saying a second ago about like alpha females, right? When you decide that that's going to be the archetype that you're going to set for your life primarily the reason why women do end up where you're at right now is because exactly what you just said i need to feel that i can trust him i need to feel like i can like i was, remember when i said about the the parachute like can, you know right. will you trust him with your life yeah you will never trust a man with your life at all. i wouldn't trust most people with my life but if you mm -hmm. show me enough i will and i have so what what so what what is enough what is enough to make you i can submit well, first, you none of you would deal with this because I'm not going to deal with a man cheating on me. I can sleep with a hundred times the people we you can, know. and I'm not we doing trust it. Trust us, we, we know. Look, we Holy know that you have so much to offer. I get it. You know, a girl gets a four. job with you. Whoa, God forbid, someone. I could get my own job. So thank I'm, you. I'm sure you can. So if you mm -hmm. can do all of these things, what do you need a man for? But exactly. But honestly, what do you, what do you need I, I would what? rather be single than end up with an alpha man that makes X amount of money and is going to cheat on me and I'm going to get Air HIV quotes, yeah, and the, everything else. So, and gonorrhea have a terrible and life. Don't forget gonorrhea. So, so your ideal man is going to be not who's going to be beneath you. He's no, going to be the one who's. No, my ideal yeah, man yeah, is not, not okay, going okay, to look at me that I'm less of a human being because I'm a woman, which is what all of you guys are doing. Absolutely. I don't deserve the same thing you do because I'm not a man. I'm supposed to all, be cheated on because I'm not a man. Okay. All we've done right up to this point is quote statistics and ask you questions as to like where you're at in life and what it is that you're doing in life. I don't think anybody here has said, I don't, first of all, I don't think, I don't believe in equality, period. Okay. But that's because I don't believe in the concept of equality. Right. So when when we talk about like superiority of like like guys will say, well, women tend to think of guys like you just are presuming here that like alpha males think you're they're you're less or you're more. I don't think you're less or you're more. I just I, it's determined by what is the challenge. OK, so if I want to have a baby, I'm fucked because I'm a guy. I can't. It seems very unfair, but that's just the those are the cards that I got. And those are the cards that you got. So when we're talking about equality, equality is defined by what is the challenge where it, equality doesn't happen in a vacuum. OK, so when we talk about how men and women are different, that's what I'm talking about. So there are things that you're very good at and there's things that I'm very good at intrinsically because I'm a man and because you're a woman. OK, what happens is in a gynocentric female primary society, there's this idea that guys, whenever they even say the word submit, it means it's it sounds like sinister. Right. It sounds like well, I'm going gonna, gonna to cram. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not, I don't mean it in the in the sense like it's a negative connotation. I'm just saying, what will it take for you? to feel secure with that guy? What will it take for you to trust that guy with your life? And every one of you has said up to this point that marriage and getting and finding that is not a very high priority for you. So where because what are the so options? Where are gonna, so where are you going to go? I'm going to marry a bunch of guys that are going to cheat on me and how many guys? That's exactly what we're telling you. In my you. defense, I asked mm -hmm. you all 
do you guys cheat? And you said, no. yes, we would. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's literally what the answer was. So I'm going off of what you told yes. me. I don't cheat. I've never cheated is, on my hey, I've never uh, cheated. If I'm, I'm going to be out there with somebody, person. then I'm going to do this, right? So if, if that's what you're telling me, then of course that's how I feel, right? Like, yeah. well, well, I don't feel so, like I should have to accept less so, than somebody else. So let me, else. Let me, no, get, I'm, let me I'm give you the, let me give you the real bad news here real quickly, because what's happening oh, right boy. now is you make your own damn money. You're very secure in your, your, you know, yourself that you don't have marriage as a high priority, but you want to deal with what you're doing right now. And then if marriage comes along, you're good. Same thing for you right now. You're not really interested in marriage unless the guy happens to be like fucking Superman. Okay. The guy has to be like so high above you that you will trust that guy with your life. You already are, you're, you're where you're at right now as well. The problem with what's going on right now is you already have that side, that security side of your mating strategy is already set. At least up here it is. So it's like you've got your own, you've got your own life together, you've got your life together, you've got your life together. What what does a man need? What is he? Why would he go for any of you right now? Because you've already you don't need him. You don't need a man. There's I, I, there is no I need for that guy. Need a man. Well, but Jamie's like, wait a minute. So there's oh, only, there's only, there's only, there's only, there's only, okay, so there's me. only, okay. So loyalty oh, is a very no, big deal for us. you. No, but, it, but why would a guy even get into a relationship with you in the first well, place? Let me defend myself because what I have been told in this studio is high value men cheat. So if you are asking me, why right, I'm not looking fast, for that, let me, let me clarify this guys. Um, Agreed. Me, me and Amanda had a discussion uh, two days ago where I said, that um, men and women don't show commitment the same way. Uh, oh, uh, that that's men, where this is coming from. Yeah, men show their commitment through sharing resources and um, their their money, their housing, uh, you know, emotional investment, etc. Women show their commitment through fidelity, and we don't show uh, commitment the same way. And I basically said, if you're dealing with a top one percent guy, be prepared to share him because more than likely he's going to have his options of women. And if he cheats on you, it's not necessarily as bad as women think because men treat sex as physical. And women treat sex much more emotional. So if a man cheats on That's his wife, he can still love his wife. But if a woman cheats on her husband, it's over. Yep. So uh, we show yep. um, we show commitment differently. And then Amanda didn't like that because she said, well, that's bullshit that you can cheat. But I can. I was trying to explain to her that uh, the way men show commitment is different. Now, with that said, Amanda, suspend my belief system. And you, you can have the discussion with these guys uh, because they don't necessarily believe what I'm saying as far as like uh, high value men can, uh, can cheat. Some guys do it. Some guys don't. But I think... It's uh, it's completely okay for a man that's a top one percenter, etc. If he can afford it to be able to have as many women that he wants to deal with, because his main girl is going to get a side of him that these other women never will. So that's my opinion on it. Uh, that's what I was saying, but that's where Amanda's uh, <laughs> contention comes Wait, from a little yo, bit. Do you agree? I want to hear. Do you guys agree with that? It's, it, yeah, because it's, yes. a, it's a fact of reality. I'm, and let me, I mean, I'll be, I'll be cynical. But just hold on, hold on. But just because I'm they agree with it doesn't right. mean that they do it. I mean, well, I want to no, be very clear thing, about that. Right, but here's the thing. I think, I think what, and you just said it. Yeah. When women take back cheating men, husbands, boyfriends, a lot more than men take back cheating girlfriends, wives. That's just how it is. And the reason why is what Myron just said. Oh, uh, guys, but, but, hashtag cheating, black, black men don't cheat. What did you say? I am not a high value black man. I, uh, you better I, stop that. Let me introduce yeah. a it, it's a skill I picked up being an economist. It's not an issue of what we'd like, it's an issue of what is. Yeah. Tiger Woods was banging other women than his wife. Yes, sir. And Abraham had more than one wife. And I think King David had three thousand concubines. And I did the math. I'm like, how do he run Israel? <laughs> like, well, how why he ran through and, Israel and, and it and that's it, it's an unfortunate <laughs> reality. Yes, generally speaking, top value guys are going to cheat. And you know what? They can get away with it because if you don't like it, they'll find girls that will accept that and kind of essentially timeshare. And them. girls know it. And it's and it's and it is it moral? No. Is it right? No. And I, but that's just what it is. How it should be, you'd find some guy, you'd make him incredibly happy, he'd make you incredibly happy, that you wouldn't have any desire to go and cheat. Uh, and that's the idealism world. But you are correct. When you're looking, I mean, it depends on how high, top 20%. Well, you know, your 20 to 15, 20 to 10 percenters aren't probably, they'll probably be pretty loyal. But you get a billionaire or some, you know, truly top 1% guy, yeah, he's probably not going to commit. Folks, and, yeah. Kevin Samuels is in, in the chat. Speaking of a top one, yes! <laughs> <He's in the laughs> hey. Kevin Samuels uh -huh. is Kevin in the is here. Give him a dog. Uh, Wait, hold on. Yeah. Tell me I'm going to die alone. 
on again. Don't do more. Uh, <laughs> let, her, let her believe what she will. High value men have the leverage in life. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, we got twenty five hundred plus live viewers right now. Let's at do 1245. it. Man. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, but I just want to say this. So, yeah, Amanda, uh, just because I said that doesn't necessarily mean that they uh, they understand where I'm coming from. But that doesn't mean they agree uh, with my actual concept and what I would do. I so, hear you. But I just asked these three gentlemen earlier in the show. I and the answer was yes. Right. I so, agree with Myron. so for me, it's hard to accept that. Why should I have to? I agree. Why? Why? I'll just run you through should. dudes for the rest would, of my life and get whatever would, I want. Would Screw you, settle. you guys. There like, it is. And there it is. And, and that's and a choice. I will be That's a man. Fine. Watch me. No, and here's and the thing. I have no I, doubt Amanda, about that. Amanda, the thing is, I guess, like, that's fine. But just like the, the point is this. If you want to deal with the, 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 the higher caliber, the man, the higher propensity that he's going to probably be non-monogamous is what I'm so, trying to but say. But what you guys are basically telling me is if I want to get married and have kids, I better saddle up and let somebody cheat on me. And I'm like, me, I we, like my money no, and my no, life. No, how it is. Yeah, okay. that's exactly it what we said word is, for word. It literally is what you guys are saying because you, you literally just said, well, you know, she's getting older and she's not settling. But the reason she's not settling is because men are going to are cheating and that's OK. No, you know, if they're going to continue Again, to cheat. OK, then obviously, I, we don't I, have I'm just going to say right, that's exactly what we said. I, we I need, you guys, choice, I need you guys to, to stop with the selective the hearing. P pay attention. That's exactly I said, what I said. I said top percentage men, the highest value guys, your athletes, your celebrities, your uh, your, your good looking Tiger guys, words. your models, etc. These type of men, these type of men have a higher likelihood of not com uh, not being monogamous with you. That's what I'm saying. Now, if you do want a monogamous, dutiful husband, you're going to have to kick down your expectations a bit because the thing is this, the higher value he is, the higher propensity, you're going to have to share him. So instead of a top one, two, 5% guy, maybe a top 20% guy, maybe a top 25% guy, he'll be more faithful. Basically, the lower he is on the socioeconomic and social value stat, uh, sphere, the higher likelihood that he'll be faithful. The problem is that conflicts with your mating strategy of getting the highest value guy you can. Mm -hmm. And I like to give women the uncomfortable cool. reality that this is what it is. If you're going to deal with a top 1% guy, be prepared to share him. There and if lost. you don't want to share him, that's okay. But then now you have to drop your standards. Because the thing is this, women don't understand that men must become, and women just start, shout out to Rolla Tomasi, I agree a thousand percent. Yeah. For a man to get the same sexual access that you guys get, he must become first. We don't get the buffet of, of uh, the opposite gender like women do. Yeah. Men must earn it. So I say this, if a man climbs the ranks and gets that top 1%, he should be able to get all the women he wants because our way of committing is far different than yours. You look at it as taboo because for you guys, if you cheat, you know damn well in the back of your mind, you don't love this man anymore, you don't like him anymore, and you're going to break up with him and or just cheat on him and feel awful about it. Men don't have that problem. We're able to detach sex from emotion. Well, you, you said before you broke up with your guy because you didn't want to cheat on him. I probably wouldn't do it again. After okay, but but the point is you had you had you. But here's the thing. You you had a moral feeling there that I can't cheat on this guy because that's fucked up. I'm going to break up with him before I do it. Men don't have that problem. We can detach sex from emotion. And that's what I'm trying to say. I want you guys to get out of your female mindset and understand that for us. Actually, I hear you guys, I can, let, me, let me throw some in. Uh, and that's some, it. Let me that's throw cheaper. some. Uh, if, if you could pull up Fred Freeman's <laughs> follow. Uh, super chat, Fred Freeman saw right there. Oh, there we go, bam! <clears throat> I'll I'll give a proposition. That guy makes over one hundred forty thousand a year. Would you be interested if I set you, any one of you up with him? He's thirty six, thirty seven. I won't oh, there you speak go. what his profession and he's not is, Miami. But, but it's very high oh, end. You already know my question before I ask. What's what's your? Is question? he going to cheat on me? Because again, this is I, like I very high on the my crystal scale. Crystal ball says no. He's I, not going to cheat. All right, G. And Adriana? Adriana? Adriana. Okay. Would you be interested in whether I'd set you up with Fred? I mean, I have to know. I, I would have to like. Things. Cappy the matchmaker. Oh, okay. Then. I have another candidate. He is 5'6. Is that going to uh -oh. be a disqualifier? No. Yes. no. Yes. Okay. For, it is. It it's is a disqualifier. Not for you. All it right. Then, then, like this, then this high quality man who also makes over $150,000 a year. I don't care about money. And is also I, my CPA. But, but you wanted a good so quality man. And I'm, I'm trying to give you. It's not just their money. I know yeah. these people personally. They're good quality men who would not cheat. And and so I, I had two guys, aces in the hole, mm -hmm. but that's not going to work. I, so, didn't say, I didn't say no to the first person. The front. Okay. I didn't say no. I just asked a question. Okay. All right. Here's If you are interested in Fred, I want you girls to email me at assholeconsulting.com, and I will set you up with Fred. 
And you two can duke it out and you can worry whether he's going to cheat on you or not. So, well, again, if that feels like that's the main outlier here is like, oh, if men are desirable, so they're going to cheat on I you. And I'm like, great. I do have to go because um, I'm tired and I'm old. And I got to get my new balance <laughs> shoes polished. Uh, but thank you, girls, for showing up and tolerating us. Uh, and I will see you, Han Yonkers, tomorrow. Mark, Good. Are we going boating? Fishing? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll okay. let you guys know in the morning. Um, women want a guy that other men want to be and other women want to fuck. Okay? Because that's what makes him high value. Would you want to be with a guy who no other woman wants to get with? No, I just want him to say no like I okay, say no. So the highest, the highest level, like if, if, if a guy is that desirable that he's got other women that want to get with him all the time, does that in some way make his value that much higher? Yeah. Because he has, he is in demand. I wouldn't want to be with a man. No, to me, your value goes down. The, the if other women want to, if other, okay, well, no, 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 if no. If you're paying if, attention to those other, other women. Okay, well, okay. I, I, I realize how, how, intense infidelity the thought of infidelity is to you okay i get that no it's but just more his, fairness but, for me but so if you're gonna do it i'm so gonna do if it. you're with a guy let's just say the guy like looks wise is like close to a nine and women like i might say throw themselves but they'll flirt with the guy and he doesn't he, he's, he's faithful to you okay do you want to be with that guy or do you want to be with the guy that nobody really wants to, i have to no flirt issue with? with being with a guy that people want to be with like that has but infidelity does come into the picture mm -hmm. if he's going to freaking cheat on me like if he's going to cheat then that's different but like obviously see see like, here's here's my opinion is that I have no issue with being women with women do not want a man to cheat but they love a man who could cheat bingo they love a guy who has that gravitas who has that pull who has that attraction whether it's money looks or status whatever it is usually it's looks but they they don't want him to cheat but they love a guy who could because that is an association on you because that means that the guy that you're with who's not cheating or or looks good and other women want to get with him, it means that you're the girl that got him. You're the girl that locked him down. Look, bitches, I got this guy right here. I hear That's you, right. but oh, do look men look not do the same right thing? Look, do no. men not do the same thing? You no. don't parade around hot women, no. women like no, 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 I got no, 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 her no, no, and nobody that's, else did. No. That's oh, the, and that's a, that's a big difference. That that's is a very, total bullshit. That's total we, bullshit. Dude, we, listen, hold on. Just, just. You don't parade around your hot girls. Are you okay. kidding me? Okay, but we're not under the impression that no other man, like I'm the only man, please, dude. Dude, my dude, any man can have, well, not any man, but men should never, ever be under the impression that his girl would never step out, step out or ever cheat. What, a, a man takes pride in his woman when his woman is in line. If she's good looking, yeah, we want to show the world, but we're never under the impression that we own her. Like we're not like it's it's not a it's not a it's not a it's not a dog leash thing. We're not gonna it's not it's not a pre selection thing. No, we know that women can not, get unlimited okay. dick anytime they want. That's so not what attracts us to so them. So here's the here's the here's the thing is is because you're you are understanding this from a female frame of reference, sure. okay? Because if I'm if I'm walking around with a gorgeous, you know, knockout oh, woman. Oh, okay. The idea, and, and uh, not just women though, like guys no. with kind of female mindsets no, as well. They see a guy, if they see me on the street down here with this just gold, big tits, everything, you know, like they're, if I'm walking down the street with her, guys and women will say, oh, he just like, what's he compensating for? Well, he needs validation because she, look how that's his arm candy kind of thing, or it's his trophy wife. What we do is we end up quali making qualifiers as to why that guy would be with that girl. He just wants to show her off. Okay. Certainly not because he has. It's game, right? Well, it's cer well. No, it's certainly not because uh, he wants to just bang a hot piece of ass. I mean, that's that's ba that's the basics. That's the machine. Like, why is it? Why can't a guy just say, you know what? I want a girl with big tits and that is is fantastic looking. And I'm not trying to parade her around because I need validation, or I'm trying to like get one up on anybody else. I like looking at her. Right. I just like to fuck that's this what girl. I'm saying. Why can't exactly. I just like to fuck this girl? But we go and we add our our own interpretations to it because it's an ego protection device for for well women and men and men beta men will do this exactly the same thing. You need to have booth candy. You need to have arm candy. You need to have a trophy wife, whatever. And then what happens is the reason why you get so upset about things like um, fidelity or putting your in your what you're doing is you're investing in that guy. So if you've got a guy and you don't want him to cheat, you're investing your your life. You remember we were saying how your your sexual agency is perishable the older you get 
the less competitive you are. So if you're going and you're making a bet on that one guy and it doesn't pan out and he cheats on you, then all of that time that you had when you were, say, from 23 till 31 or wherever you're at right now, that's a waste of time because you were trying to get, you were trying to make something work out with this guy and it didn't work out. And that's why you have trust issues. And that's why you have, that's why you, you, you need trust. I shouldn't even say trust issues. Yeah, that's why that's you're legit. asking for trust legit, because you know that in the long term, like from the time you're 23 and you're hot, and like I said, this was the store's called Forever 21, not Forever 41. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 but, and, but the, the reason why is because that's the youth, fertility, oh beauty, you know, that's what men select for, but that only lasts for so long. So when you get to be 34, 35, 36, you're not as, I'm not saying you're not going to be beautiful. You're maybe you're still sexy and vivacious and you have your own job and everything else. But when you get there, you're not as able to compete with the 23 year old version of yourself. And if you made a bad bet on that guy and he cheats on you or whatever else, that's why you're paranoid about that because you will, it's a loss of investment. It's sunk cost is what happens. But why is it that every single, you're talking about women right now, right? You're talking right. about women. Well, every single guy that I've dated mm -hmm. up until now, every long, you know, term Please talk into the mic. You, you can move it. You can move it as you need to. Long-term relationship that I've yeah. had. <laughs> there you go. Um, they've had trust issues. Like, why is it that the women are, you're talking about women right oh, now, really? like, but it just seems like, you know, you're just talking about like, women it's not wrong for women to have trust issues i, think I that's actually like wonder the yeah. entire time that myron was saying this like who hurt you like who broke you uh, as a person uh, for oh. you to sit here and All say right. this we, and we, we i stand the point by of that diminishing return no 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 no, no. I, no, 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 no. Was, that concur, was that a I concur. was that a rhetorical question or do you want the answer no i want no, the I, answer I, I a thousand percent think somebody broke this man and that's why me you i'm broken yeah. no 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 she's right um dude i've been broke i've been broken by a lot of women but Again, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So what essentially happened is I put my hand on the stove, I got burned. I put my hand on the stove, I got burned. Put my hand on the stove and got burned. At some point, I don't put my hand on the stove. And because I don't put my hand on the stove and teach men why they shouldn't put their hand on the stove, you're asking me, why don't you put your hand on the stove? No, you're just telling me I need to put my hand on the stove, but you're not going to. And that's when why did I, say, I don't, I don't okay. like that. Like okay. For me, right. well, it's the exactly, fairness. It's like exactly what you said, think yeah. that you should be allowed to have different expectations. And I'm like, why? Unless I'm a piece of shit on the street and I have nothing to offer and I'm a barista at Starbucks, why do I have to accept that? I except don't think wait, that has anything oh, to do with what I said. Except, wait, the, the sharing of the guys or... Wait, I'm confused. She asked who hurt me and I, and I, oh, I gave her the answer. You were, but you were talking to Donovan. Back to no, I mean the 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 uh, sharing and just yeah, yeah overall yeah, I think she was like talking unfairness to me when she said who hurt you. in general. Oh, okay. no, I yeah. was talking yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, I was talking to Myron. She, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Someone she was looking broke at me. you. Someone yeah. broke you. I don't know. Broke you? Uh, I mean, if you want to know where it comes from, oh. I grew up in a Muslim household where it's completely uh, acceptable to have multiple wives, and I can see why it was why it's allowed in Islam because men love differently than women do, and men view sex far differently than women do, which is why. Men can have multiple wives, but women can't have multiple husbands. Unfortunately, if this is the fucking case, I'm going to be single forever because I can't do that. Same. Like, there's no way that I can go, especially if you guys are telling me this, you know, you're well, no, no, I, I and you're, just, you're, you're, no. you know, you're, you're saying what you're saying. Like, you know there's what? You know no what? way that I could be in another relationship. <laughs> I'm going to make, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, gonna make you hope. Gonna I'm going to make you hopeful right now. Okay. You have you've just been educated. You have you have actionable information. Yeah, welcome right to now. life. Lee. What are you? Great, gonna... I'm dying alone. No, 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 no. We no. can be dumb bitches but and accept know, this. But you know, you know the game. <laughs> You have a you have a better understanding of the position, that and not all guys yeah. think like so, I yeah. do. You guys. can act like, accordingly is... and not have to worry about like you know working from a a point of view where you're kind of like pie in the sky. Like it's idealism and stuff. You understand the reality of the situation that you're in. Act accordingly. I tell this to guys. I'll tell it to women as well. You are in a. You have much more opportunity right now. Yes. Much more potential because you know this. Yes. Not because, like most guys will do exactly that. Like, oh, yeah. fuck, bro, I, I'm going to go MGTOW. I'm black pill. Fuck it. I'm dead. I'm doomed. <laughs> oh, you want to know why those guys are playing Call of Duty right now? Mm. You want to know why those guys are like hooked up in, with, in weed and porn and 
uh, I don't know, ordering pizza and playing video games all the time and just basically giving up on life because they they adopted the same thing. They're just don't get and, nihilistic. Yeah. And, and I want to say, you know, the game now. One thing real quick, because uh, Amanda, uh, a lot of the, <laughs> the, the, the her, um, I guess, opinions are coming from what I said. Understand, ladies, that this is coming from me personally. I'm just telling you guys how, and I don't want to sound arrogant, but I am a top one percent guy. I, I, I am, you know. When it, when, that was my next question. If we're gonna talk about physicality, uh, looks, all this other shit, <laughs> I don't want to sound like an asshole, but that's really what it is. So I'm telling you that guys in this level, you're going to have to share them. More than likely, they're not going to commit to one woman. What I'm telling you is just make sure you're the number one woman. That's all I'm saying. Do all guys think the way I do? No, they don't. You will, you can find a guy that will be faithful to you. I'm simply saying, because you guys keep thinking, why is it okay? You can cheat. I can't cheat. There's a big caveat. Is the guy's value high enough to be able to dictate these terms? For a lot of women, it is. Maybe it's not you guys. Maybe you guys just, if you guys don't want to share a guy, that's cool. I'm simply telling you, have your expectations right that if you deal with a certain caliber of guy, you will have to share him. That means you're going to have to lower, you might not be able to get a 1% guy because his, what he wants versus what you want don't align. And that's okay. But I'm telling you guys how, guys of a certain caliber think and i don't want to sound cocky be like oh i'm one percent guy so i could do this i I'm, I'm only telling you guys my opinion and being honest about it because most guys will never tell you this yeah. that, of a certain caliber and yeah real quick as well uh roll above a, a very good point right you guys are losing leverage here right time is is of, is of the essence of the essence. and the problem is is that like most girls don't know what's really going on they might have an idea but they, they don't know tonight we just showed you guys off the cuff what it really is. So now you know the truth. So now it's up to you to decide, you know what? Am I going to take the reality down the right path or am I just going to settle for my current state? So now it's in your hands to make that choice. We're probably all going to go home and take Xanax and fucking cry about <laughs> this because this is well, fucking well, terrible. Yeah, Listen, you guys I haven't still... been more depressed in a long no. time since when I came here <laughs> because Listen. again, it's just like if this is what men really think, I'm like, God damn, why do you even waste all no, this time not all to men. straight Amanda, fucking women? Amanda. That's it. Listen, not all men think like this. I'm telling you, just the it. top percent guys think like this. Okay, there's been not 400 all. pound men in my inboxes uh, who agree that I'm also under their feet. So unfortunately, <laughs> you're preaching this to America Four, and they are in turn man. believing it. What's their net worth? What's his net worth now? Uh, I don't know. Well. What's he working with? Like what, like, what's he working with? Uh, I have no idea, but he probably weighs 400 pounds. And if I told him <laughs> I was under his feet, anybody would die. And that's never happened. Again, we're talking about the top 10% or top 1%, I think. Is that yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I, and I'm just going off yeah. numbers. Because like, if okay. you break down the numbers, ladies, only about 9% uh, of America. Sorry, I think uh, Kevin was calling if you want him. Right. I'm calling. Oh, oh, okay. Let's open up the phone lines. Samuels. Okay, Kevin. Let's open up the phone lines. Where the head? By the way, Kevin, uh, you have a, a, here. a fan I'll here. I'll give you a set. Um, you real quick. What? Yeah, yeah. when he gets yeah. on the line, she could talk to him. Yeah. Um, Look at her. She's all hot. <laughs> she's like, she's like, oh, shit. I'm excited. I'm like, great. He's going to tell uh, me how to die. No, uh, no, but it's just like, all I'm saying, guys, is that. Right now. <laughs> the, the higher you go no. up in caliber, like, I'll just give you guys some numbers, just so you guys understand. Only about. Uh, three percent of men are over the height of six foot two. Only about ten percent of guys are uh, make a hundred thousand. Uh, wait, all Americans make a hundred thousand dollars a year or more. Uh, <laughs> to, you know, yeah, a hundred thousand dollars a year right. or more. Top ten percent. Then let's let's in, uh, uh -oh. exclude all the homosexuals, the women, the married men, etc. How many of those guys are actually single? So single over six foot two. Uh, you know, not fat. Uh, oh, somewhat not awkward. Whatever it may be, <laughs> then you get easily down into the three percent just off these simple metrics. So. I'm just telling you guys that percentage of yeah, those are the raw numbers. So, yeah, those are the raw and numbers. And for us, we're not 18 to 23, so we we're already. Fucked. Do you guys not we're believe this? Fucked. Is that what this is? No, I just oh, think men are yeah. like honestly, I'd rather be alone than be with a guy and, and who's going to be and be with another woman. That's fine. Like, that's fine. Yeah, uh, pedophilia, right? Kevin, we're going to give you. What are we doing? We're opening up legal age, but it's pedophilia. Kevin, we're going to open it up right now and get you in. Well, for you maybe. Okay, go ahead, you guys. I'll get the phone lines open. I need a um. I need a set of headphones, man. Oh, use those for now. Take mine. Oh, all Take right, mine. cool. Yeah. Corona Bros. <laughs> oh, Kevin's about to come on and cook. Yeah. I got a question. Ladies, I have, I have, I have, I have a question for. I, I have a question for easy. Amanda. I have okay. a question for okay. Amanda. Okay. okay. Yeah. Why do you presume that um that somebody must have hurt Myron? Why do you think that? Why <laughs> Why was that the first thing that came to your mind? Why Why would you presume that there There's some sort of like background because like, i've incident. never met an undamaged man in my life but, okay so but why and why would second, you think that? the the fact that you have such strong opinions 
that you are the dominant person and you're allowed to do all these things because I'm the 1% of men. Okay, well, it's harder to be the 1% of women. So if anything, I feel like how does it, that, how does it relate to him the having, other way? How does that relate to him having any kind of problem? Because how else do you develop such a strong mentality? Why do you, why do you presume against that, unfairness? Well, literally, you, uh, like preaching unfairness. Why do you like, presume? Why do you presume that's? <laughs> why do you presume that's the frame? That's the operative frame here. Why do you presume that there must be something wrong with him? Because if he, again, has, if he has those, if he has met, those opinions, why do you think that, that again, something like, hurt like him? I'm telling you again, life experience, I've never met a man with such strong opinions about ridiculous shit in my mind who hasn't, that had hasn't some been background? broken. Okay. No, I, and that's a hundred percent. So it. what, it, what, it, it. what is, what is broken? It just means that somebody's hurt you. He's probably put himself out there before so, and some so, hot girl so ran game on him and so fucked you're his presuming, friend. You're and presuming that. So now, so now, so, 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 so now so again, he is saying I'm quick. the 1% no, 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 of men. Fuck quick. you, no, no, bitches. Real, but, see, but see, that's just it. When women say, when women ask who hurt you, I said this earlier. She doesn't really want to know who hurt you. She wants to show the world that oh, no, you got hurt. Oh, no, I actually hurt. do. I, yes, I, but what but, did you just again, say? It, you just said some hot girl ran well, game and fucked it, his friend. That's a, really what proof. you wanted to it's say. It's more that I don't think it's fair to be out here preaching this unfairness against women, right? And what again, perpetuating like, hey, this is a male-dominated society, which is you're even allowed to, hey, if, if you're so special to be the 1% of men, you get to do whatever you want. No. That's... But... The no. top 1% of men do Guess get to Guess what? Do the top 1% of women get to do that too. Do you think billionaires in this world, it matters if I'm a woman or a man that's behind the wheel of a car that accidentally kills somebody? What yes. does that if have I'm to do with it? If I'm a billionaire, Absolutely I'm getting out of that crime regardless. You Did you know that women are... are <laughs> did you know that wow. statistically speaking, <laughs> women get more lenient sentences for the same crime? Oh, now do. what's unfair? I think it has to do with money. That's what I was talking about. If it's you're the 1%. If you are, a I've never gotten out of a ticket, so you should all agree with that because you know I'm such a hate. Hey, Kevin, Another I gave you, I gave you a streamyard link. Check your phone. It was, sorry, go ahead, because you guys. Oh, Kevin's jumping yeah, into yeah, streamyard. Yeah, I'm gonna get him on, in on streamyard. So, uh, Ooh, the people are eager. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold nuts, on. Uh, yeah, and I also just think that most of us, in general, <laughs> like regardless yeah. of how you've grown up. <laughs> Yo, she's like, she's like, oh no. So do you think regardless he, of you've grown you up, like him. most of us come out sweet and innocent and loving in this world. So for yeah. you to turn around and say, no, I'm allowed to do this and I'm allowed to do that. And okay. you know, so you're, perpetuate you're, this. You're, you're very fixated on entitlement is what you're uh, on I, right uh, now. honestly, but mm -hmm. I can never, this is the being in here mm -hmm. has never shown me how much more entitled men are. Okay. Oh, well, women should do this for me. Women should do that for me. No, no only they your mama do owes you something, owes you something in this no. world. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't hold on, owe hold you on. unconditional love. You are at, no, no, not only do, not only do you not owe me, you are incapable of unconditional love. Women don't owe men a goddamn thing. Women do what they do of their own free will and volition. That is a choice. Do not get that twisted. Mm. It, but no, again, I, and so I hear my, you guys my saying point, that. My point is that. My oh, point, my no, point but, is but that. that. We'll see. Well, at that point, you're either going to agree or disagree. I just sat here and told you straight facts. You're going to tell me that I'm not telling you what I'm telling you? I mean, come on. At some point, just you have to not, be like, all right. I would say more just not everything that you've said is so in line with that same So thought. you don't think that he can okay. come to the opinions that he has for about women and whatever we've been talking about up to this point. I'm out of the conversation now. What? No, no, but, but, say, yeah, no, but, but, example, but she was yeah. the one who said, who asked you who, who hurt you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. you don't think that he can come to the to those conclusions that he has without some form of damage, with some psychological damage in his background? Absolutely. So you can chime in. So you I think he's so you think he's out of the ordinary. He's out of the <laughs> no. I, I think I think most people are damaged in this world, and the things that you sit around and believe are uh, normally. But so he some, can't come to that opinion by an inform like by informing so himself or educating himself or looking at things like in he an, just an told us it's about his family and how well, he, he was grew just saying up, that right so. now. But so no, I cannot agree with you because you, he just he, sat here and told us can his he opinions come to those, were Can he come to those opinions without without being damaged? No, I don't think a nice person. So, so what you're doing is you're, so what you're doing so that. what you're doing is saying like I, if I'm writing books about this, does that mean that I have been damaged to to write those books, or is it just simply because it's from an informed, educated? But you're position? not you're not doing it. Doing what? You're you're not right. We're, there's two different situations happening here. 
You're telling me that but if you I think share the, the same, if I men, share the same opinions as him, am I damaged? Do I have something? Why don't you say, well, who hurt you? Are you out doing that? You just told me you don't cheat on your I wife. I don't cheat on my wife, but I, but as far He's as He's sitting here saying that he will absolutely do this without a shadow of a doubt because mm -hmm, that's where so he's that's at. the difference so so if he's going i can to be, mentally understand so, a prostitute so that doesn't his, mean i'm prostituting so myself his, oh his my on, goodness his wow honest, his we have honesty. gone way off the rails. no we no, haven't we're, we're, we're talking there. about the same thing he now, understands I, that so men what are I've said, so uh, let me let me just refine this for you a little bit when women say who hurt you it's what it is is it's a a uh, it's an appeal to that person mm -hmm. to to normalcy. There it is. You're the normal one, and you're the fucked up one. Oh, I never because, said that. No, I've no, sat here and admitted no, I'm no, fucked because, up. No, no, he's the fucked up one because you just said who hurt you. Well, the only presumption for for asking who hurt you is if you're already in the right. If you're all, if your framework, your mental framework is the one that's the correct one, and his opinion no, because is again, incorrect. We're back there has on to the be unfairness. something. There has to be something that's fucked in here, up. brother. It's easy for you to Kevin, say that as at? a man to accept this unfairness because you don't have to accept it. That's what you're all sitting here preaching. You're the 1% of men. You don't have uh, to accept this. You don't have to accept some woman cheating on you, but if guess what, if you're a woman argument. and you, you got, want you know, the 1%, I said that either, but, yeah. but yeah, you have to that, accept this. That that's, that's what you're sitting here telling okay. us. Okay. Do, you, do you think that men and women are different? Absolutely. Do you think that the, we have different biological, uh -oh. psychological, neurological differences? I think you're simpler than us. Well, okay. That's true. That, that, exactly. that may be true in certain instances. So I'm supposed to accept less. You guys see the no, irony but of this, right? Simple is less. Is, is that, that right? Is that do that you it? understand that there are <laughs> intrinsic things that make him a man and that make you a woman that might be unfair depending on what the situation happens to be? Yeah, but I don't think cheating is one of them. But oh, his... Innate mating strategy is different than your innate mating strategy. Maybe I'm a superman, for, and guess what? Hit. That that's my mentality, right. and I go out and do it. Um, you're right. Here, you're right. We're like, wrong. So that way, you guys can both talk, <laughs> and then pass. Yeah, and then and then Amanda, you share that one. Up uh, again. Okay, uh, just give seven, Kevin a, se a second so that he can oh, get his. Oh, he probably has his. Uh, he's oh his, his boy, stuff there he is. Um. Okay, you're coming. Okay, so no, you had a point. Go ahead. Uh, and I think you were. That's no. what. You didn't have a point? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, then. I don't know what I would... I don't even you were know. saying something about it's not okay. Uh, it's not fair that, I guess, a guy can cheat and a woman can't. Yeah, because uh, it's just not fair. I mean, I feel okay. like the whole entire point about it was that, like we were talking about, you were talking about how it's okay for men to cheat, and um, it's just, it's not, like... I, I, mean, I agree with cheat. It's, it's, uh, I, I think it's okay for men to have multiple sexual partners, whereas for a woman, it's not. In a relationship, it's not fair. Yeah. I agree. Cheating Listen, implies a contract. You it agree implies that a, it's okay for men to have commitment. multiple okay. partners. I don't think it's fair, but guess okay what, ladies? Women. Life but ain't that's fair. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it is what, what it is. is. Do you agree with it? It doesn't matter okay. whether you agree with it or not. It, it is what it, it is. is. What do you mean? It is? Listen, okay, talk to her. Listen, talk to her. She's listen, a woman. I'll talk to her. She's trying to tell you. She's trying to. There's a difference. Sweetheart, talk to her. She's trying to tell you. She's trying to tell you. That doesn't make everybody. Yeah, we, okay. can, we can have a discussion. Go ahead. If a man is going to have multiple women, that is expensive. Okay? So <laughs> you are not talk. going to be able right. to... You're not... A broke dude can't, can't do, do that. Because <laughs> you're not going to allow it. So if he can afford it, then you're okay with it. And he's not doing it disrespectfully. Then that's but just the okay. point of it is not being okay with it. But I'm it's not a man who truly, it. a man if, who if truly gonna, loves you, will not let you find out he's running do, around. If they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. But like, if I find out but about it, I'm not they gonna clearly do it. just said that's they're fair. all gonna that's do fair. it. Then that's fair. I'm gonna be single forever. No, you're gonna have to deal with. I'm not gonna deal with. No, I'm not gonna deal with. Look, and we and we understand. And we understand. We under. That's the thing. Like, I don't agree with it. Like you're saying, if you agree with it, then you're gonna be with a man that's gonna cheat. That's fine. That's you. Apparently, I'm if you have a penis, you're gonna cheat. Well, like, from what then they're just saying, I'm gonna be single forever because I've I don't seen agree broke with dudes it. cheat. No, you just said you like, just said and you that's just like you're broke and you're cheating. Yo, ladies, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> I keep but, telling but you this. I keep Kevin telling in. you this, and you guys seem to keep forgetting this. I'm saying the high. If it's a higher caliber man, you're yeah, going to have to if accept you're that's in the a reality. percent That's fine. I get what you're saying. That's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I obviously women are reaching to. Do you want a one percent man? Absolutely. Then you're gonna have to share them. Okay. That's it. I I understand that's what it. you're saying. 
But what I'm saying is I'm probably going to have to be single because I'm not going to settle for that. That's and fair. That's it. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Then and you're the gonna... people who will, like you said, you agree with it, then you settle for the guy who cheats. I'm not going to do that. I won't. Got it. That's fine well, enough. I don't like how you're, you're saying it. Well, why not? <laughs> why don't you like how she's saying it? Well, because because like it, it but... I, I wouldn't sit there and just let it be in my face. Right. You, just you know what I'm saying? But you're saying that well, it's fine. Because... And Agreeing and accepting are two different things, right? Yes. I mean, okay. if, if it's so not it's done okay. in my face, it's respectfully, and I don't know about it. I don't fucking know there about it. The bills go. are paid. The kids are taken care of. I can wake up whenever the fuck I want. Let me ask you something. Let me ask Great. you something, right? <laughs> and and I'll, I'll say this. A man who truly loves you will not let you. If a man doesn't love you, he'll be messy about his cheating, right? That's sure. just the dude. Who's just, but you if he like loves you. Never know. That's what I'm saying. You might have your suspicions, but a man who truly, truly loves you will not you find out he's cheating. Also, if you're a man and you're going to cheat, you got to abide by some rules. Don't bring home any STDs. Don't knock the bitch up. Don't fuck her in your house uh, on on your bed, and don't let your girl find out. If you can do that, it's listen. She might have her suspicion. She might smell perfume here or there, but as long as he does his level best to keep it away, and you can accept it, then that's cool. Kevin, let me know when you're ready. Just shoot me a text, and we'll add you to the stream. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said, man, you guys, we can agree to disagree. I'm all I'm saying is that I'm just being honest. That the higher value guys, the celebs, etc., athletes, those one percent guys. You're gonna have to share them, guys. We That's are at 2,700. Yeah, we're 2,700 live, live viewers at 1:20 in the morning. Yeah. And yo, Solo Don't TV 84, we see you in the house, man. That Don DeMarco is for you, bro. And and shout out to Sam Boda. Sorry, uh, Sam Boda again. Sam, oh, yeah, yep. Sam Boda. And uh, Kev said he's got a few minutes. So all right, cool. Uh, Kevin, just shoot me a text when you're ready, and we'll add you on the stream. Let's do it. I know he's probably setting up his equipment uh, real quick. Oh, the little. Yeah, his, he has the nice setup and everything. He's Where probably traveling. That? I don't know, man. He, oh, has a, he has he has that. that <laughs> I need to get that setup. I want that. Did we have Sam Boda with the chat? Uh, yes, Chris, hundred. Uh, no, oh, telegram. One? Okay, uh, hundred. Um, Here we go. Hundo. Yeah, he 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 left. Uh, he, he, oh, he said backstage and ready. Okay, uh, let's add Kevin to the stream real quick. I'll I'll track down Sam Bada's, uh thing. All right, here we uh, go. Oh, I've been here for quite. A, I've been here for a few minutes. Hey guys, how we doing? We're good. We're good, Kevin. How are you? <laughs> good. So <laughs> the ladies are in the middle. Her name is Sable. The Sable. Amanda, but close enough. Amanda. Uh, the one, the woman to her right, your name is Adriana. Adriana, and the woman to your left, Janina. Janina. Okay. One of the things I kept hearing. My name is Kevin Samuels, by the way. Nice to meet you. One of the things I kept hearing is the notion of fairness, fairness, fairness. Why is that so important to you, Amanda? I hate to admit it, but I do like I'm half a man. I'm just a pretty girl. And I don't think that I should have to accept less in life because I was born with different equipment. I think that's bullshit. Well, if you're half a man, then you should understand this full concept. that men don't care about fair. I don't have to care about fair either. You no, know no, no. I mean? Men don't care about fair or else we wouldn't conquer other people. You're of European descent. Looks like you're from. It looks like you're from. The, your people are from the Caucasus Mountains. European descent. So I was, well, huh? I am very white. Yes. That's fine. And some of them. And there's a lot. And between a lot of warring tribes, Germania, the Franks. If we cared about fairness, we would just let everybody stay on their land. Vikings wouldn't have raved and pillaged. England would have stayed on its island. Scotland would have been all right. Ireland would have been all right. Matter of fact, Hong Kong wouldn't have been a, a British protectorate for how many years? Oh, until the last, what, 30 or 40? Men don't care about fair. We conquer. It's winners and losers. Straight up. Right? You're and half a man. I didn't know that only men were part of conquering. Well, but... name, me, name me some great female warriors that have dominated the planet. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm learning new education here, which is only men conquer. No. I mean, that's what you're telling me, right? No, well, see, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to switch that. I'm asking about fairness. And I said about fairness. Why is fairness so important? You said because you're half a man. Because if you expect something of me, I should be allowed to expect the same of you. And if you can't offer me that, you don't deserve to be in my life. But that has nothing to do with fairness. It has everything to do with fairness. No, fairness means you get an opportunity. Fairness doesn't mean you get an outcome. Oh, my God. You get an interview, not guaranteed a job. No, you're not. But I work very, very hard to ensure that I keep it. Well, if that's the case, you should. If that's, if, if that's the case, being, right? If that's the case, then if that's the case, you should be able to secure the things you want. So you should have no problem. 
obviously not. Not when men are out here believing like you don't have to be fair. Well, those two things can't exist in the same place. Women haven't even been part of human history. It's just men and all we care about is conquering. Well, no, no, no. You just said you work very hard, so you should get the outcomes. See, if hard work was all that required, then we would almost be guaranteed. Hard work gets you a ticket to the dance. It doesn't get, guarantee you the top spot. How many uh, who, who lost the Super Bowl, guys? The uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Can you say they worked hard this year? Very hard. Number two. Men don't worry about fairness. We worry about winning. And to the victor go the spoils. Just like, you know what? How many times you've gotten to a club into VIP for free when some ugly chicks had to pay full price? Is that my fault? No, no, no. I've asked how many times it happened before you go down that path. I mean, plenty of times in Miami. Exactly. But that's not fair, is it? Well, please don't forget I'm not from here. But so. that's not the point, ma'am. That's not fair, is it? I also don't care about those things. But oh, so you only care about fairness when it when it doesn't benefit you. I just don't go to clubs that often. But that's I, not the point. I asked you how many times yeah. you've gone to a club where you got in and free where ugly chicks or less attractive chicks had to pay. And you know that's happened. You didn't say I'm still excuse me, sir. Uh even though I'm attractive, I demand that you charge me full price. That's fair, right? Okay, so because I fair? into places and get that fair. Place, that means that I should get fair. Before we go that, I'll answer your question. If you at least yeah. answer mine, is that fair? Life isn't fair. Well, but if that's the case, you accept it in the sexual marketplace too. It doesn't mean I have to accept other people's bullshit. No. Well, see, the thing is, ma'am, see what you've proven, like many feminists and many women, you're okay with the double standards that benefit you. But the ones you don't like, you just throw at the wind, you sign language, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right to deflect and dismiss guys who are normally intimidated by this thing. I'm not. I'm just challenging your position. You're okay with it not being fair when it benefits you. You're oversimplifying a very complex situation. No, it's not really complex. There are no such thing as loyal. Out the concept of a loyal, highly effective, competitive alpha is a female notion. And have to continue to compete with other pretty girls because men are too simple to, to stick with one. Well, how about this? The kind of men you're talking about is simple enough to make the light you live in, the air conditioning, all the stuff that you, hold on, excuse me, ma'am. The simple men built the world that you use. I built my own world. So no, ma'am, you used the world we built. No, ma'am, you, you used the world men built. Name me five great female inventors. I'll give you one, Madam Curie. I just, I can't believe you. So you're telling me that men and- No, ma'am, I just asked you a question and you did, no, you go, see, you're answering questions with questions. You're well, talking I, about building. Name me five great female inventors or builders. Madam Curie. Five inventors or builders. That's a really great question. That really is. Yeah, I was going to. Well, also, I don't remember the lady's name, but she, there's a bunch of buildings take in it, Miami. Take it, take it. Go on and do it. Go on and do it. Go. Take it. Take She's it. afraid. Go on and do it. Go on and get on in there, baby girl. You got it. Miami was established by a woman. Congratulations. But the Miami, the, the land was established by, but this con this country was first landed by who? Men or women? Men. Exactly. I agree with see, you. I'm, and see, the thing is, I've done this show about survival, and you can go back to Bear Grylls Island number two. Man, oh. you're, you can only be a feminist in a first world country. There's a hierarchy of needs. You are correct. We right. all and we don't need you college and we don't need you cool. you need us great i don't need you either no, no we need you know we don't need you for survival you need us for survival okay so what, what i'm trying to get you to understand ma'am is you have a right to your opinions obviously what, i don't have a right to anything here. well no you have a right to believe what you want well, but the thing okay. is you're not you're not allowed to the outcome you, you're allowed to have an opinion just like men are allowed to have an opinion and you don't have to compete or deal in a situation that you deem is unfair but you can't complain about the rules that are already set you like the rules that benefit you, getting into the club for free, but you don't like the rules that benefit men. High and value men have the leverage. Exactly, because I'm 30 fucking one years old and I'm getting a little fed up of, of these men kind of attacking me. I do not go to clubs anymore. So please stop with well, your well, double standard bullshit. I work in a man's world and if anything, I've had to work five times as hard in this world as a man to get where I am. So well, look at, oh, hold on now. So now, since you want to tell me you've had to, you, you, you're 31 years old and had to work in a man's world. That's a privilege. You, if you don't, here's the man, here's the thing, ma'am. You keep, you keep, you say the problems with men. The only one that's complaining about the double standard harshly is you.
Yes, it because benefits you too. All the benefits. Where okay, you- well, here's the thing, ma'am. If you don't like, okay, ma'am, you're a competent woman, correct? Okay, so I should quit my job and never. No, you should build. You should build. You should build Amazonia. And make it the and make it the female utopia that benefits women. I probably should after listening. Well, then go ahead. I agree with you. And then you, but then, but see, then you'd have to actually build because something. You put I your, mean, you'd have to put your cool. mouth where you, you'd have to put your bra on where your mouth is. I, I don't understand what you're saying again. I'm like, saying that you came at me with the same line. I've had to put up for 31 years old and deal with men's bullshit. You're living in a first I, world country. I, you're I, in Miami, one of the most posh places on the planet, complaining about double standards that you participate in. The nerd. I, corrected you that I don't go to clubs. So you're okay, ma'am. I just gave an example. You've right. been to clubs. I didn't say you continue to go. That's not the point now, is it? But see, that's another way of you trying to get me online and then correcting me because I'm a dumb man. I get the point. No, you're, I mean, you're very rude and very aggressive. No, I'm very direct. And when you were doing this to the men, you had no problem showing your dick. I'm just, like, I'm just acknowledging Why? your balls. Because you're a tough woman. Why? Why should I? Why? Be- because I'm just giving what you give. I'm reflecting back what you give to people. But see, the thing is, you're okay giving this to people. Okay. I'm just okay. challenging what you think. The, these were my opinions when I came in here. I'm the one that presented these opinions. I just listened to you for two nights say these things, and I'm just talking to you one on one. And you're not backing down. I'm just, I'm, I'm just challenging what you say, man. Listen to a bunch of weak ass men tell me that I'm not attractive and I'm not this and I'm not that because I am not going to back down and listen to somebody. Bunch, okay, are you saying the men in the room with you are a bunch of weak ass men? If you think that I should have to accept less, than no, you. ma'am, I don't think you should have to do anything you don't want to. You're a, you're a free person, but I'm trying to understand who are the weak ass men you're referring to. Amazonia, because who are the, who are the weak ass men you're referring to? Who are the weak ass men you're referring to? What did I just say? Do I, I need didn't to hear you? Because you, because okay. you kind of start talking over me. So could you repeat it? A bunch of weak ass men doing what? Yes. When somebody sits here and tells me I need to accept an unfair situation, that if we applied it to anything else in life other than men and women, wouldn't be accepted by everybody in this room. But you're going to tell me that I'm going to tell you that's bullshit, and that's okay. not fair. Okay, can I, is it my, oh, can, I, can I give a response? There's a million issues in our culture and society today that people are fighting for fairness, but yet I'm sitting here sitting saying, hey, I'm allowed to expect it too, and I'm going to be attacked and told. Okay, to- okay can I respond now? Different. Okay, no, let me tell you something. First of all, men don't worry about fair. The sexual marketplace is not fair. All is fair in love and war. It's not fair. There are guys that out there that you wouldn't give the time of day who could have a harder goal because they don't hit your mark. Oh, no, ma'am. I let you speak. You don't know that. No, I know that you don't give every man a chance is what I do know. You don't. Well, actually, you don't know that at all. Okay. You give. Okay. Are you saying that you are the one female on the planet that will give every man who wanted you a shot? No, I am not. Okay, then I can assume that that was correct. Let's move on. Let's not get lost in. Okay, that's a deflection. Let's not get lost in that. You're talking about unfairness, unfairness. Where in the world is it fair like you need it to be? Is it fair for you here in America? No, ma'am. I ask you where in the world is it fair? Like, I'm not complaining about it. I'm not. I'm not. I I deal with it. mm -hmm. I deal with the unfairness and overcome it because I'm a man and I can deal with it. And I'm asking you, where is this place? That, where is where is this ideal place? Where's the ideal model? It doesn't exist. Exactly. There are three women here sitting like here, never wanting to go on a date again. <laughs> well, no. How about not wanting to go on a date? What's happened in this world more than anything else is mankind has learned how to get along with each other since recorded history. But along around the 60s, when the National Organization for Women, the ERA, Phyllis, not Phyllis Schlafly, she was on our side. When all of this stuff came in, feminism, second wave, feminism, I'm a feminist. I believe in feminism. Feminism is about I'm choice. Not, yeah, no, you really are. Excuse me, ma'am. Feminism in its true form is about choice. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, we don't this have a choice right now with what's going on. You have a choice. She just oh, exercised one right now. It got too hot. She left. Feminist. Shit be fair. See, it's about choice. If a woman wanted to be a housewife, she could do it. If she wanted to be a business person, she could do it. See, the choice was about all black people wanted was a choice, freedom, to be have an equal shot, not equal outcomes. Men accept these things. You don't hear men complaining about fair. 
If Donovan and I were playing a game of football or video game, if he was kicking my fucking ass, I would be a punk to sit up and say, it's not fair. My controller's not working. The game is rigged. That's not fair. You're better. Do you know? I would have to just take my ass whooping, take my L's and get better. That's what men so do. That you guys choose to be this way. And we like, we don't want to choose to be that way. We want to be different. We want, we don't want somebody that's going to cheat. We don't want anybody like we want someone that's, that's going to be faithful. Why do we have to settle for these types of things that you're saying? Well, like, first of all, you don't have to settle for anything. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. But what also does not have to happen is men don't have to be counter to their nature to make you happy. And that's okay. So what's the issue? The issue is that men are not the ones complaining about the state of relationships and dating as much as women are. Women wanted freedom of choice. Women wanted to be able to have sex with who they wanted to, marry who they want to, love who they want to, work where they want to, not work where they want to, go every place that men could go. You are the most free, most liberated group of women that ever existed on the human history, and yet you're the most unhappy. One in four out of you on some sort of psych meds. Women are, fought, the marital rate is dropping with modern women. What else do you want men to do? We've civilized the world in general. We don't even have wars. You can do whatever you want to. And you're still not happy with the world that men built, telling us that we're not good enough because we don't move like women. We're not going to. I just feel like you guys don't put in effort. I feel wow. like the most most of you are, you are serious? Not, I do feel like you're serious. That I don't put in effort? I mean, the way that you're talking, it doesn't seem like it. Like No, but she's right in a, in a sense because oh, wow. just what you guys are saying, most guys today, that's 80% of guys that you, you guys are used to it. So you guys there's, just don't used, there's more. Effort. There's more what? guys. On, used to what? To not putting in effort. You oh, guys are so oh, used to women no. just falling at your oh, lap. Oh, so I was born do. this way. Is it's that because it? the 23-year-olds matter. And not but you know what? But the guys, uh, let's, let's not get lost in this because when they can get into VIP by just being the hottest woman in the club, that's okay. Why is that your only argument? Yeah, and because it's the one that everybody understands. Because it's the one that everyone understands. And I could use more. Trust me, I'm a smart guy. I can give you more. <laughs> but the point of the matter is, it's the one we understand. And the double standard benefits you, you're okay with it. What effort are women putting in today? Women still want men to move in a traditional way, but yet you're not traditional women. Is there a crickets say. button? I, I'm confused how I'm asking men to act in a traditional way. Yes, you want men to be traditional. I mean, most I, women. I, okay, I, I run a show that has anywhere from 15 to 20,000 people watching every night. And I, I, women from women around the world consistently say they want a man that's earning in the high five, low six figures. They want to have two to three kids and be married. Most women want the top 10% of men. You can go watch my channel and see this bared out. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Middle Eastern, and other across the board. All these women were given an option. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? The answer comes back overwhelmingly no, meaning they want to be traditional stay-at-home housewives. They weren't raised that way. They weren't cultured that way. They're not even equipped to be that way. But yet, they. and if you ask them, could you date an average guy earning $50,000? Even women coming straight out of college turn their nose up. Men I, accept I, this. Excuse me, ma'am. Men I, accept I, it. Can, can I finish my example? Yeah, you said he's making $80,000 and that wasn't enough. Okay, so men accept this. Men accept men accept the fact that college men accept the fact that they're in school right now with women, their own age, that 80 years ago they could have married and had a family early on. Now they're looking at these same women, and these same women would not even look at these guys unless they're making six figures. Men have accepted the unfairness in the marketplace. It's not fair for men. 18 to 30, men used to could get married. Now you can't even really consider getting married till you're 35 plus because you have to have resources. That's the new marketplace. The well, thing is, but can let me finish? Let me say this and I'll let I'll, I'll turn it over. Okay. Men have accepted that and adjusted. The difference is the women are not bringing in, women in mass are bringing this. Ask them what you want, you get war and peace. Ask you what you bring to the table, you can't write it on the back of a stamp. You get access to my body, which is not virgin which is not even low miles, which you've given to somebody before. And in some cases, you've even shared your womb. You're not even really feminine like women used to be. You don't even have the domestic skills, the home skills. So is it a, I would, so I would submit today that modern women are asking for an unfair deal from modern men. So we should go back to 1950 and make it more fair. Well, uh, I tell you what, 
what's happening is the men have accepted this and they're deciding to, I am I'm neither not going to play this game because I cannot earn what these guys around you are earning. And they're just opting to walk away. And the men who are earning that have an overwhelming amount of options. They have a plethora of options. Men in the top 10%, top 5%, I'm 51 years old and I can pick whatever I want because women all want the same kind of man. And if you have options just like you, you're not going to do what? Settle. Men didn't make it the men didn't make the marketplace this way, ladies. You fought for it to be this way. This is freedom. Freedom comes with responsibility. Clearly not, not for men. No, no. See, see, when men were paying the bills, yes. see, when men, when we had the old system, men were expected to fight the wars, dig the ditches, build the buildings, pay all the bills. And when a when a divorce or something happened, men had to pay. Yes. Now yes. women fall for equality, so you get upset when you deal with 50-50 mindset men. No, I mean, I'd rather be I'd rather an independent it. rich woman and be single than to be stuck with a man who doesn't give a and shit And I would about rather pay more than half of the man. bills. Absolutely, exactly. Okay, first off, you said you'd rather be in it, and if that's what you choose to be, great. You can do that. That's choice. And, that's, I, well, and, and you can do that. Exactly. But the, but the thing exactly. is, but the, but the funny thing is, you would think that, and especially in my community, strong, independent, such and so forth, the, the amount of women who are high earners, independent, and miserable is laugh is amazing. Halle Berry, once the most beautiful woman on the face of the planet, three times in a row, is complaining about child support. She's rich. She's beautiful. She's miserable. How about this? There used to be a time where men and women actually did not war with one another. We didn't have these contentious things. We accepted that men were men, women were women. We acknowledged each other's differences. We respected those things and let the world work. In the mm -hmm. last 70 years, we've decided let's rejigger everything and it's not working. And you could rape your wife and she didn't have any rights and you could beat her. Now, what's going on, guys, is this is this is a sign language that goes on again. This is when they go to the 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 horror stories in the black community. We call this the color purpling of black America. Miss <laughs> Seeley, these things could happen. Sure. But they did not happen in mass. You did not go to suburbia and see women's eyes hanging out of their socket. I highly disagree with you. Okay. I mean, raping your wife was such a huge deal. It didn't even get I said eyes hanging out of your socket. You talking about I'm not going to use that word because I'm on somebody's platform. Right. Can course. we not use that word though? Because can we not use that can we not use that word? It's YouTube sensitive. I'm I'm sorry, what word? The R word. R spelled backwards. It it it, it dings the platform. Yeah. Okay. I, but I'm, I'm not rejecting the concept. But you, yes, ma'am, it happened. Right? Ma'am, but what you're trying... I don't think okay. that world was better for me. Okay, well then, if the world is better for you, then accept the things that come along with a better world. I just think that everything you guys are presenting are opinions and they're not facts. Well, actually, there are more facts than you want to deal with because all I deal with based on facts. There are things that you guys want to say are facts. Okay, ma'am. Statistics that show oh, me this. Here we go. Where, okay, ma'am. I, I my show, all I deal with facts and statistics. Women that are are happy in their environment, knowing they're being cheated on, knowing these things are happening to them, and you find them for me. How many women Excuse we have? Excuse me, on hold on. Let me ask the question again. Ask the question again. Where? You go find like, these women that are being happy, being cheated on. They're they're happy. No and, and excuse these, me, hold on. I, hold on. I will. I, excuse me. I can go. To, I'll let you know. I can go out to. When I used to live in Dallas in Highland Park, I knew at least six of them. Six you of them. Because they were, excuse me, ma'am. And that I've been Excuse in me, excuse me. If you let me explain to you, I will. You're not but, letting me finish my thought. And then you, you're you asked a question. That I, you asked a question. Go find these women. And I'm going to tell you where I found them. Over. My okay. thought wasn't over. I said in sure. successful marriages. Okay. In where successful marriages. 10 years later. And they're still married. Still married. Still married. There was a soccer. That, the soccer mm -hmm. mom, okay. Okay, do you want to hear or not? Well, I mean, I just don't, I, I would and You see, I could give you the example and you still won't accept it because there are some women who accept the fact that, you know what, if I want to have a man that's making four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 a year, that kind of living, he's not going to be able to go to the PTA meetings. He's going to have to work his butt off and maybe travel a lot. And guess what? They have an arrangement, but guess what? As long as you don't bring any in home, any outside babies, no diseases and don't embarrass me in public, we're good. Guess what? She can also do what she wants to do as well. 
And they have an understanding because get, when the, the marital rate in this country, the divorce rate in this country is over 51%. But when you cross a net income of $250,000, it drops to 20% because people with more money got more reasons to stay together and they find a way to do it all the time. I respect your opinion because That's at least fact. it's fair. At That's least you fact. Can, people get to have a part of a deal instead of just men get to cheat and women are going to sit at home and deal with it. What I just gave you was an un was a fact that anybody can look at. Well, but again, I'm more okay with what you're saying. You're telling me it's going both ways, not just one. Well, I'm telling you, it always is going both ways. But the way the way you guys are set up is it's always women are the victims, and that's that feminism crap. I don't think women are victims. I think women can pick and choose. I think there are plenty of women like Melania Trump to choose to be married to a guy like Donald Trump, and knew exactly what she was getting was perfectly fine with being where she is. That's a choice. I don't think I've ever sat she here and claimed worst, to be a victim. Yeah, she is the worst. I mean, she's probably the best example because I'm not a I'm not a Trump fan, but like <laughs> she's the worst example to bring into that because it's like she's not. She had the freedom to choose, and she chose. And she did. So, are you going to negate her choice? Absolutely. She wasn't an American. She made her choices based on. Oh, listen to that, gentlemen. Fairness. See, this is what this is what it is. This is selective feminism. It's feminism only when it goes with what I think. Thank you for proving my point. I'd like to make a point, actually. So if we brought up that plenty of Colombian women run game on white guys in Miami for citizenship, we would act like they're victims. No, I wouldn't. Guys, I wouldn't. Melania Trump does the same thing. No, I wouldn't. Citizenship. She gets some cash. She gets. She gets what you are perceiving as she a, got a deal. So let me explain. Let me, let, let me say something, guys. Let me, let me explain something to you, ladies. What men and women have always done is not worried about the Western notion ideal of marriage. What men and women have traditionally done is sat down and negotiated and hammered out a deal. And that's what they do. You hammer out a deal. Melania Trump got a deal. She is not a prisoner. She could have chosen to leave. This is a free country. If Donald Trump wanted her to stay and she wanted to leave, she could have. She chose to be there. Yeah, but we're not all like Melania Trump. And, and like, and that is not a valid argument. No, but, but it is, I, I though, would like, it's not because we're not. That's not a valid argument. I'm saying women. the fact that there are women who make choices that you don't understand, but they're free to make them and happy in those situations. But you, again, you're talking about choices that are going both ways. When what I have been getting annoyed with is there is no sense of fairness. And that's what exactly there is no fairness in dating, ma'am. That's what you don't seem to get. There's no fairness in this. All's fair in love and war. This is not fair. Yeah. It's survival. I'm yeah, glad I know I now. Mean, I just now got a lot of empowerment. Going, now that you. I heard everybody's opinion here, it's like I don't even want to date. Like I'm. Oh, I do. I'm gonna I'm be. Just gonna I'm gonna be even more you. exactly. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, but understand something, and you can do that. But here's oh, the thing. Okay. Oh, man, and that's the fine, and that's fine. But the but, but here's the thing, and, and the thing, and while you're running game, the game will be played as well. That's fine, and men are okay with that. See, men are okay with the. Are you guys okay with that though? We, we, uh, ma'am, you ladies set up the rules. We are playing, we are playing the game that modern women have set up. So Kevin, one, and I don't know if you heard it, but again, one of the things that's bothered me is that again, it's, oh, well, men can do this, but women can't. Such as? The, again, the cheating thing. Well, if you're cheating. the 1% of men, then you get to do this. And it's Chief. because women show, you know, love differently and blah, blah, blah. Well, okay. I'll put it to you this way. If you're, well, if, if you are with a 1% man and you're cheating, uh, He's if, around. you better not get if, 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 if you need to know your man. Neither are neither. Some are men, some men, I will say this: I know men in the one percent whose wives have. What do you think the porn where she's sleeping with the pool boy, the postman, came from? Women cheated. The postman rings twice was a very famous movie in the seventies. Ladies, there are some men who understand their wives cheat. They're just rules to it. But again, I like that you're telling me we're setting a plan up front because that's not what's been being said that's here. That's always what it comes down to. He loves you. He ain't going to let you know he's There cheating. is something that comes down at when you, if you, there is some man on the planet that you can actually make a deal with that you could accept. Now, the point is, can you find them before time runs out? But that's how it always comes down to. There are blanket generalizations that are broadly true for most people. But we're human beings. Everyone has a choice. Some guys cannot tolerate any cheating. Well, then if you need to get your itch scratched and you know what you got on the line, you got to risk, raise the risk reward. Because if so you want to risk lower. it. Aim lower, I guess, you know, lower your uh, expectations. Because maybe? if you're look, if you're dating, you know, above the 1%, then you might get somebody that's not going to fucking cheat, right? 
Maybe. Well, hold on and see the notion of this whole aim lower. This is why when women say this, I don't think you realize that people. When I don't think a lot of times you ladies understand when you say aim lower, you're in that lower too. Where's the crickets button? I don't aim lower. I'm not going to aim lower. I'm just going to stop being I just such put a nice out person. There. But just... the fact that but there's, there's, there's two real, here's some realities. Women control access to sex and determine whether or not a life is brought into the world. Men control access to relationships and marriage. So you can aim whatever you want to, but unfortunately, men across the board, low value to high, control access to relationship. That's what we control. So this is what I was saying earlier. Ladies across the board, you can have your standards, your point of view. But when it comes right down to it, the way you guys were talking is if you had leverage over the kind of men that was in the discussion. You don't. Those men have leverage over the women. You're not you're not competing. You're competing with the women around him. They're. Everything that you ladies are saying, I won't tolerate this, such and so forth. There are plenty of other women to be like, shit, okay, fine. What else? Is that it? No problem. You're saying we're not 1% like they are? I'm okay. saying that there are more women wanting them than there are men. There, there, there's 1%. That means 99% aren't. And almost 100% of women want the same 1% of men. The Petro principle. Oh, yeah. The Petro principle. There are more women trying to, okay. You've all been into a club at some point in your life. There's a, there's a regular club and there's VIP. The guys who are in VIP are looked at differently than the guys who are standing online. But that's not fair, Kevin. Well, what the guys in VIP had to make. See, the thing is, one thing that most women don't seem to realize, and, and, and it's very simple. Women are born with inherent value. So they really can't understand the concept of, that we men have to deal with. That we have to make ourselves valuable. So when men hear that we have to make ourselves valuable, we accept the world as it is. And we don't sit back and say, well, it's not fair. We just deal with the world as it is. Here's the principle. Women can never objectively understand the male journey and struggle. So don't try to explain. Mm -mm. In general, they see everything through rose colored glasses being born with inherent value. You earn all of your value as a man. And it's your greatest opportunity that you could hope for. Women are born with value. Men are not. Y'all had your That's you all had bullshit. your struggle. The women That's are still bullshit. struggling right yeah, now. I was gonna Clearly. say it's way harder to be a woman than a man. I said you, value, ma'am. I said value. Yourselves, no, like no, 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 you went you went to how hard it is. I said value. Nobody's feeling sorry for themselves here. I said, I said value. So, just, are you are you uh, so you're so? All telling, you're entitled to something better because your struggle has been harder. No one, like, no one. See, men don't think we're entitled to anything. That's why we said don't even no. I, what I, I said, just, what I said was don't. What I said was men should not try to explain. If you weren't entitled, you wouldn't sit here and tell no. me I don't deserve the no, same. No, yeah, you can knock the sign language off. It doesn't work on me. What I was saying is I don't try. Men should not try to objectively articulate your struggle and journey to be a man because women are born with inherent value. See, Kevin, she stopped listening. It's it's it's. I know, I know, and I'm about to run, but I'm gonna say this for the audience. Thank you for got, having me on, guys. And these are these are valuable back and forth because what yeah. needs to happen more often than not is women who have these strong beliefs. Just question their beliefs. Question why they believe what they believe. And then if it stands up, it stands up. If it doesn't, okay. But it's not, we're not being fair. We're not being rude. We're not being evil or argumentative. Women are used to one way discussions, and that time has passed. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right, Kev. Thanks, Kevin. He's out. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, uh, yeah, but, uh, this was. Yeah, it's an I intense, like great yeah, show. Yeah, to uh, to oh, end, to I guess to end what he said. This is what you said. You you said you imply that you don't have to work hard for what you have. It's been like this for you forever. Oh, I never said yeah. That. Again, that is literally, are, that exactly. Is that's total bullshit. Run it back because okay. that is not what I said. Okay, fair enough. Run it back. You're right, and I'm wrong. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this up. It's, Ladies, I'm an old man. I gotta get. Where can they find you on Instagram? Because this was a crazy show. Ig. Try spell it out. Yeah. All right. So mine is about Adri with four eyes at the end of Adri. Okay. Everything else is spelled regular. Cool. Mine is O. Oh, it's Oh hey, it's AK. Got it. Mine is G, like G E E Miami thirty three. And we tag them all in the Instagram at Fresh Fit Miami. Yep. So if you don't know how to spell it, go to Instagram. You're all tagged in the story. You can find them there as well. And uh, 
yeah guys thank you for tuning in this was a fun show i i, I uh you know guys show respect to the to the guests you yes. know please don't send any yes. stupid messages to them Seriously. or anything like that Seriously. this was a discussion obviously there's a difference in opinion but i think the most beautiful thing is that we're able to have respectful discourse and in I an think, open uh forum one yeah. last thing as well um you go and then just say your last piece real quick okay yeah, yeah listen whether we agree or disagree yeah. like i said it's not easy to hear what you've heard you listen you guys stood in here for three hours and toe to toe with the great kevin samuels and yeah. us and all that regardless of our opinions or whatever i gotta give you credit for being here because there aren't there aren't many women who would sit there and do what you guys did um you guys never got you guys never got loud yeah things got contentious and i think that's healthy but like real talk i'll give credit where credit is due because a lot of women would not have done what you have done so i'll give you credit on that at the end of the day i respect every single one of your opinions like i'm not gonna go you know against anything that you're saying i will give my opinion and what i think but at the end of the day it's a discussion you yeah. know and like we're all here exactly. to, to give our sides of the stories and um yeah, yeah. i mean i enjoy this it was fun this there wasn't this yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. isn't about you know men versus women or who's superior or whatever it's just about yeah. having an honest discourse of the current dating marketplace and how men and women are nowadays yes. so and amanda, that's what it's about go ahead amanda yeah i look i respect everybody's opinions i would just like to remind everybody they are opinions <laughs> they are not more uh, anything than mine or anything else like they are just opinions um that's all I haven't okay seen it this late since I was like 22. Go no, no thank you guys for having me what's your instagram where can people I find you oh no no they already get oh, oh no g didn't give hers i did oh she did oh, okay -E -E Miami okay 33. all right trust, trust uh, me she's already getting dms well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> is she's getting them all yeah all right so uh guys patreon.com slash fresh fit thank you so much for the support yes um ladies any last words i'll give you guys the last one yeah they, just thank you guys for having us we yes. appreciate you even if we yeah. want to strangle you a little this was, this was <laughs> a lot of fun hey, i think that goes a both ways i yeah. i think that's fair really i saw some women, i saw some women on there that were agreeing yeah. and then I, I mean i saw just both sides and yeah. i'm okay with it all you yeah, know we like, in here. it's fun it's fun so uh yeah we had some ladies in there too and Donovan, thanks for agreeing for staying bro because this is past your bedtime <laughs> <laughs> everybody else bailed out but anyway guys yeah. uh chris let's let's play that outro guys oh thank God. you so much for coming on the show we appreciate it Peace. Bye.